monthly tournament that uh, happens on Sundays. Uh, the the settings are different every week. Every week, um, this one happens to be migration up to up to 2.3k players. We're allowed to sign up, and we will. Uh, and we have eight players playing, so it'll be single elimination brackets up until the final. And whoever comes out gets at least uh, three months of Vubly Silver Premium membership. And yeah, we do it every week. Different game, different settings, different map. Um, the longer we go on, the more players we get. We'll probably start mixing some uh, less standard settings than just changing up the map, but we haven't quite got there just yet. And you're welcome, Carol. All right, Trey, you in? I am in. I am uh, in, and well, I am happy to. Oh wow! I believe this you said. Map. I believe you said you were thinking Italians. Well, man, if you didn't call that great. Wow! <laughs> see, Holy see cow! Italian hello, warrior. Yeah, I've seen <laughs> Hello Benjamin in the yellow and Jedi Arath in the orange. Both going with the Italians pick. I'll but, be honest. I'm excited to see a mirror. I'm excited to see a mirror right off the bat. It's going to be a nice, fair game. We were saying that they were within striking distance of each other's rating. Um, so I'm, I'm excited. I think this is going to be a good start of a game. You know? Absolutely. So we're looking. So now that you get to see the map a little bit, you see how there's enough to hang out. Um, being that it's a two v two, each island has a little bit more on it than, let's say, if it was a four v four. Um, you see how there's enough to hang out, but you couldn't win the game from here. It... Right, 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 absolutely. So at some point in time, they will have to make the decision of when they want to move to the next island. I've seen it I've seen it immediately. I've seen it uh, in Castle Age. I've seen it in uh, Move in Feudal, start setting up a base, not necessarily a TC. And, uh, sure. Yeah, I've seen it all. Uh, you know, right off the bat, I'm seeing a raft. He's got great fishing off the, the bottom right of his base here. Um, plenty of room, uh, you know, probably easily protectable. Uh, that's nice for him. Uh, both, I'd say, I'd say the resource scatter on the middle island kind of favors Benjamin. You see, there's there's two golds. Yeah, they're a lot closer um, to him. Yeah, on the bottom of the map that, or on the bottom of that that main island, definitely favors definitely favors Benjamin. But that's nothing that that's you know going to be too too game changing right off the bat for sure. And we'll come into play until later. Understood. Understood. <clears throat> All right, so if you're going Italians, you're the one who called it. Why'd you pick them, and what were you thinking you were going to do with them? Um, definitely want to get fish. Absolutely. You know, you don't start off with a whole lot of wood. Um, so investing in the, in the ships early pays off by not having to make farms later. Um, so I think I, that's that's kind of where I was thinking. Um, also, you know, you've got the cheaper up, so you can get through a little... If you get up faster or get up cheaper, you can get that TC out on the middle island earlier um, because, you know, the middle island presence is so vital in this game. Um, you know, you can make fire ships. Uh, that's the bonus over the Vikings. The reason you don't want to go Vikings um, because they've lost access to the, to the fire ships. So I, I'm, I think uh, I think it's kind of got, got bonuses there too. Besides, you got, you know, your unique unit um, or your unique tech. You have the plus one Pierce armor um, for archers. Which is great, of course. Uh, it's a nice bonus if you want to do something early, like try and land your opponent. Um, you know, in the earlier castle age, that's something you could do. I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of things you can do with the Italians. Okay. Well, so I'll point out. Hello, Benjamin was a few seconds ahead on the dock and getting out the first fishing ships, but only mm -hmm. about three or four seconds. Uh, it seems like both players are pretty effectively. Neither player has any interest in farms. Uh, Arath's already pushed in all his deer. Uh, they both got six on wood already, and they're just going after sheep and hunt. And they're gonna try to get as many fish and chips out as possible, and uh, you know, base their uh, food economy around that, as you uh, were pointing out. I expect to see maybe a few farms. If not, they just uh, send all the villagers to berries. We'll right, see. right. But yeah, so we got a little bit of time here. We'll see who can get up the better eco, and then the kind of the, it's really just this. This map is such a decision of. Uh, like, do you decide to go pressure? Do you kind of hold up on your island a little bit and maybe have a stronger eco? Maybe go it'll slight military, take the, take the middle. Or go water mm, pressure it'll be and just to lock see it down. If we, yeah, absolutely. Are we going to see another drop, another dock drop right off the bat or two or three drops, you know, dock drop right off the bat? That will show if we're going to get those aggression or if it's just going to be, you know, booming. We'll see. I, I assume, you know, don't you... Don't you almost have to assume that your opponent's going to go aggressive on this map? Um, there's a lot. There's a lot to move around, as far as uh, getting there with the fire galley. 
Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. It's definitely a lot of distance to cover. And also, if you take if you take one of the players and look at their point of view, they don't really know anything yet. They know their island, and that's it. Sure. A map a map like this really limits your ability to figure out what your opponent's doing and to scout them and try to react to them. So I expect to see fire fire galleys out, but uh, it's going to be a while before they find a target, and they really might just be used for scouting to begin with. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and maybe the play is to make one just to guard your fish and one to scout, maybe. Uh, I don't know, and maybe do you move, maybe in this case then, since you know you're playing against the Italians, do you move to the middle island quick too? Uh, well, here we go, we've got Benjamin clicking up the feudal. Alright, so it'll be the first one. We'll see what kind of, and he is putting another dock out, so we'll expect to see some military from him. Right, he's absolutely. He's kind of moving his fish, oh, he's just moving his fish ship around just because he didn't, he didn't have any uh, more fish in sight. Yeah, Benjamin's, Ooh. uh, it's not that he has less fish, just the way they've spawned. There's a little yeah, bit less I idea just... with how they're gonna have to move around through a river rather than just one open area. Ooh, there's a third dock being dropped now by a raft. Oh, really? Definitely gonna see military, yeah. Definitely gonna be some really? military presence coming out. Ooh. A map like this, unless you unless you go to the middle island early and hold it, uh, completely losing water is a death sentence. Mm -hmm. So if you, you know, you... Oh, all ahead. in all, a raft, if he... Oof, he does have enough wood to keep up his production. He really does have a, quite a few good patches on his starting island. I would say they both do, as far yeah. as uh, enough, enough to keep them going to a certain extent, and but not not enough to land and close out the game. That's really that's really what drives you having to make a, a decision here. They're both. See, we got okay, Benjamin's on seven fish. Raf's on six fish. All right. Hello, Benjamin. Going for some eco upgrades as soon as his feet. I'm gonna check out. Yeah, he's got a fire galley coming mm -hmm. out. Another one. I don't see a third dock from him though. So assuming Arath is prepared to go full pressure, it feels he's gonna have uh, just one production out. And where are the galleys from Arath? Oh, uh, they're not out yet, but they're just queued up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep, he just queued them. Okay. So one thing I was pointing out in uh, ECL yesterday and a lot of Team Acropolis games. Uh, certain players would be faster, would have an advantage. Like, we're going to see more fire galleys out of a wrath faster, but because of the length of the map, by the time he gets across, Hello Benjamin can, can catch up production wise because of how yeah, far. Absolutely, he's gonna going to have a defender's bonus. It's, yep, that's a great way to put it. <clears throat> They don't see. Yeah, nobody's thinking. Nobody's thinking transport ships at all. So they're definitely gonna hold up. Go for some water That's control. Uh, Arath's got. Um, he doesn't. Yeah, he does have the res now. He's got each. He's got each uh, dock pumping out fire galleys and a fourth here we go. dock going. A, a Arath has sent a fishing ship down here at the bottom of the map to scout out. Look, it's just about to hit uh, Benjamin's dock. It's right here with, with his other fish. From a raft. Yeah, Arath has sent a single fishing ship all the way around the map. And look, it's right there. It's right there fishing with the other ships. Is it really? Yeah, it's, it's right it's here at the end of his island. But Oh, wow. I actually was looking right at it, and I just couldn't tell. <laughs> Blends in pretty well. <laughs> Orange on yellow there. Okay, now he knows exactly where to send his fire ships. Yeah. And actually, Benjamin's so that's coming gonna... across the top of the map. Yeah, that's going to be a bonus for Arath. He made the right choice in uh, which way to go around the map. And if you notice, Benjamin sent two fire galleys up and around, I'll say clockwise, around the center island. And they're not going to find any targets. They're going to come up empty-handed. Look, he's, I think this fishing ship's going to get away, too. I'll be tanked. Oh, wow. That's going to run right into one, two, three uh, fire galleys of Arath. And Arath's gonna Ooh, he is hand pumping out these fire galleys. Oh, he has no intention of stopping. It is just oh, constant. Wow. He is housed. He's working on it, but housed at the moment. We've got a few. F we we got got first eight eight here. Yes. Oh, I just had a pause. Oh, had a pause. But looks like we'll be good. The fish stream looks and sounds great. Thanks, nobody. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, so Rat's gonna take oh, there this. There we go. Gonna take that's gonna be a win. Easily. I think yeah, that's gonna be a wrap. And he's gonna actually, he's gonna, he's made a, he's made a very good decision here. Uh, if you notice on a Rat's island, he's built his houses close to the edge. So he got to see Benjamin coming. 
and Benjamin might yeah. have uh, patrolled his fire galleys in, and they actually hit that first house they ran into, letting Wrath know he's coming. And he's going to be able to defend. That is that is a smart, small detail right there. That really did help him. Just that, that little bitty bit. Good, good ooh, there's gonna, there might be a demo coming in from Benjamin. It might find a good target here. Ooh, ooh, Wrath's yeah. trying to get away. Is he going to oh, notice? He split. Maybe he's no, migrating he at home? Oh. No, he split. He'll be good. He's gonna find one. He'll, he'll take. He'll take a kill, but it's not a. It's not a good trade. It's not, it would be a mistake not to see significant galleys. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. He does have enough time to to bulk up a couple at home before he gets there too, if he wants. Just so they're a little bit more deadly against the. Oh, and we have one queued up here from Arath. Just, just no sooner does it be spoken point this out hello benjamin we, we missed it he is more than halfway up to castle already he's gonna be oh, hitting goodness. castle at 1833 in just about a minute and no click up from Arath at all and he has nowhere near the resources for it and we've got this demo right here it could do some work Ooh. <laughs> that's just okay warm. We all want the big demo shots, just like uh, how, I was, how I, was, I was hanging on for big Onager shots last game. <laughs> but yeah, so Benjamin keeps putting out demos, but I don't think he just... He's just kind of doing his best to hold up. Oh, there we go, that's a good shot. And so going. what's his play now? What's his play now that he hits Castle? For Benjamin? I would say he immediately goes for the War Galley upgrade so that he has fire ships out. I think he tries to turn this around. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, that is that is interesting, yeah, nobody. It does it does make for gameplay because look at this now. We've got we got five, six, seven fire galleys just ready to go. It's just it, this is very interesting. Very interesting. Think, Nothing like uh, from the other maps you see. Benjamin needs to back off for a minute here. He's got these upgrades in. He's seen that that uh, Wrath still isn't up to castle. He should not be throwing mm -hmm. fire galleys right now. He knows he's gonna have the upper hand, and yet he's uh, just throwing it away. He's throwing away his units before that upgrade comes in. There you go. Now he finally turned around. Now, now I think he should, uh, once he groups up, he should take this engagement. There's a cluster of galleys coming in now from, from Arath. Yeah, now he's got this upgrade, he should definitely take this fight. Yeah, I think he's got to, he'll probably end up winning this pretty easily, especially with the constant reinforcements coming in. Arath realizes he doesn't have the res. He's doubling down on fuel. He's actually grabbing wheelbarrow Ooh, before. Yeah, turn around. There we go. Well before... Uh, he'll have the res for Castle once Wheelbarrow comes in. He's going to be behind for a while. And I think Benjamin's going to have plenty of time to get to get a lot of work alley up numbers up and make the transition here. Yeah, I mean, I think even just these few could take on take on a good portion of his forces. Mm -hmm. So Arath just now clicking. Uh, Benjamin on his way. Fifty percent transport shift on. He'll be to that. He'll be to that middle island well before Arath. A small note, Benjamin actually ended up hitting sheep as he went around the map, so he's been uh, sheep scouting the, into the middle map ever so slightly. And did you say somebody had a transport ship queued up? Yes. Okay, Benjamin there it is. Does. Yeah, with the numbers just crazy, just exactly how many fire galleys one regular fire ship can take on. Well, guys, definitely not. Actually, Benjamin. Okay, Benjamin has three, has two war galleys and a fire ship waiting, but he might get cleaned off water here, even with this early advantage. Um, but that transport ship is out, and it's going to make it to the middle island before that, before the Arath boats show up to stop it. And It'll let's see, is Benjamin, what does he know of the middle island? Not he doesn't know where any of the extra goals are. Yeah, no, we're nothing. That's just kind of that's kind of the nature of the beast with this map. If you take a look at right, what do you see? You said Benjamin. So if you take a look at a Rath's, oh, he also had hit some of the sheep and is trying to scout with them. Okay, I didn't notice that. So a Rath actually knows more. Hmm. But Benjamin's also uh, also got Bodkin in for Galley upgrade, so he's looking good as far as water pressure is concerned. And a Rath just can't do anything about it. And hopefully a Rath's going to be up in two seconds here, and we'll hope see the War Galley upgrade from him. Hopefully Bodkin as well. Yeah, this, this bundle of war galleys coming uh, coming out of Benjamin's base, heading over to Arath, I think it's gonna be a problem for him. Unless unless they unless he can get that galley upgrade before they they arrive. Um, I believe yes. Uh, Benjamin's oh, yeah. not pursuing any further, so mm. the so uh, Arath will get his upgrades in. 
And we got the first TC on the middle. Oh, TC coming from Benjamin. Yeah, yep. nice. Yeah. And that's gonna be, I don't think I see, I see any sign of a transport ship from a raft anytime soon. Absolutely, yeah. It looks like Aras not even not even considering the middle. He just can't at the moment. He knows he's behind, so he's, he doubled down on his island with how far behind he uh, decided to make the decision to go to Castle Age. And now he's just gotta eight, stick with it. These eight galleys and two fires coming down from Benjamin, bottom of the map. They're gonna they're a force, but they're nothing. They're gonna get cleaned up pretty quickly by this Arath force coming in now. The yeah, Arath just has so many fire ships in there. I think it's worth knowing that a lot of them. I think a lot of them are weak. Uh, about five of them have, t have taken a lot of damage. But it still will be enough to take down Benjamin. You know, well, Benjamin now getting careening. I believe that's going to give him one more armor, so that'll help in this fight. But he keeps making these decisions of he just engages a few moments too early. I wish he, I wish he would have backed off and maybe waited the other 20 seconds for that upgrade to come in. Here we go. We have a big fight. Big fight here. Oh, that's gonna take a lot of micro. I think that's just too many fire ships. He's gonna have to run for now. Yeah, I would like to see demos mixed in to get to get a, a wrath off of the fire get to get the fire ships cleaned up out of here. And the score is neck Ooh, and neck. And and look, look, look. Oh, a wrath's on. A wrath has landed. Yeah, just here next to Benjamin CC. With dropping a monastery and Eric. Oh, a wrath. A wrath knows of this. Does Benjamin know? Benjamin does not know. Wrath is not mm -hmm. within his father of war. So Benjamin's dropping two additional TCs. Uh, Arath's going for a monastery and a barracks. See him monks right away. Not sure if he's thinking collecting relics or uh, converting villagers. We'll see what he does with that in a couple minutes here. You know, Benjamin finally uh, backing Ooh, up. Go. He'll, he'll have the numbers. He There's can, two demo ships right here from oh, nice. Benjamin. Engage, engage. Yeah, it's just, he's just keep making these same decisions of, like, he's got the advantage on water, but he just doesn't quite pull it off just right. So he needs to, he needs to pull those war galleys back. Now it looks like he's, well, these demos are going to get in there and do a good bit of damage. Took about, took out four fire ships. He could have micro that a little bit better. Maybe not targeting the same boat, but definitely yeah. still put in damage and it's going to help bridge this fight over. And he's going to come in now and look at that force. Yeah, that's, that's a lot that's of good. war galleys. Now Rath's gonna be pushed back. I will say Benjamin going for the crossbow upgrade. So while he knows he's behind on this, I believe he's thinking, okay, well I'm just gonna push this TC. It'll be a nuisance. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe draw, maybe distract him. Even that distraction is gonna be valuable as well on water. Because uh, Benjamin has nothing to defend himself on this main island. Oh, and he is grabbing some rough it looks like. There's a second TC up from the very top of the map now on Benjamin. In the middle of the map, it's got a second TC up. It's just to the north. That's pretty good for Wrath. I would like to see him. Maybe uh, maybe a TC out here as well, but that's not in the game plan for the time being. Maybe, the... maybe a castle uh, on the corner of this island to help defend. Yeah, that's something I was thinking about near this uh, near this stone. Okay. To stop the, once, the water pressure once and for all. Yeah, definitely and protect his fishing ships he's got back here. Yes, I see it. Going for oh, a No, he's definitely he's thinking I'm just uh I'm gonna pressure Benjamin. He doesn't quite know this, but uh Benjamin doesn't have any doesn't have any military on this map. He's trying to scout out, see if he finds anything. I think he's gonna be pretty successful for a while here, especially considering he might get a Mangano out very shortly. Let's wait for him to queue up. He has the res, he oh, can queue it when he wants. The, next, the crossbows have just engaged and he definitely knows this is coming now. Let's see what the reaction's gonna be from him. Is he gonna build his own archery ranges well, here? It's, on it's gonna be delayed because he's just now putting up a barracks. He's never even built a, his original barracks yet, so oh, he, can't, he can't get scrims out for a while. And that is gonna hurt. Um, in a, does he have a blacksmith? He does. In a situation like this, you could even think I should immediately drop a siege workshop and get a mangonel out because it's gonna be faster than a barracks sure. into archery range into enough skirms to defend with. Oh, and there he's losing some some HP. Oh, Benjamin though is dropping a castle. Um, I don't know. I, if Arath commits to that though, it's gonna get it's gonna get denied. Oh, absolutely. Himself from these crossbows. 
Ouch. Yeah, I'm not sure if I agree with that spot. Maybe maybe closer to the water to protect with his boat? I'm, I'm not sure. Well, he's thinking of just using it as his defense and maybe build units out of it. But because of where he placed it, like, he would have had to go closer to the TC. Um, really just done anything other than put it out in the open where the crossbows were going to find it. Sure. Sure. Yes. Uh-oh. Give another pause. It's okay. Give it up, and yeah, this Mangonel's coming in from a raft. It's gonna start putting pressure on this TC. It outranges it for now, because there are no military upgrades in for a raft whatsoever. Well, actually, no, there are. There were upgrades on the boat. I thought it was seen by them, though. Let's see. We see possible convergence come in. Yeah, so Benjamin's mm -hmm. completely shut down on the center island for now. Got nothing to help him out. Oh, and things look. And, and Benjamin's went in some water over here on the right. Okay. Attacking these dogs now. And with that many war gallons, they will go down pretty quick. So take take a look though at a, at a rat's a rat's uh, dogs. He's got so many demos. And they, Benjamin did a really good job of uh, killing off the first one and then making sure the two didn't do too much damage. Yeah, absolutely. He must have been paying attention. He must have been uh, watching that spot for sure because that was some good reaction. Now, if Benjamin was able to finish off this pressure, maybe reinforce this a little bit more. He's got a couple he more guys. Some yeah. coming in, but they'll take forever to get there, of course. Because now. you see, this, this wood line would just be completely demolished and have to leave it. Now we've got two Mangonels attacking this TC in the middle, and a Wrath is dropping his own TC on the middle island now. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, Benjamin's finally defending with his own Mangonel from the other TC. He dropped a couple of stables, uh, I believe. He'll have to Ooh, and that's going to be a good... So that TC's down. And with it, I think those villagers, unless he moves very quickly. That's what Ooh, go, 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 go! Run, Billies! There you go, batter it down. Nice. So if Benjamin does this well, he's going to be able to take this Mangonel yep, as it rounds the corner there. He might go two for one on Mangonel shots here. He took down Ooh, that entire... Shots. all those archers that are sitting up top. And, and no, uh, Knights might be the answer here. He might be right making the two stables to counter these archers. So he might. You know, I mean, if, he, if he's not ready for scrims, maybe he's thinking about landing some Knights too. Well, the Mangonels... The, the, Mangonels are going to hold off the crossbows while the knights are going to pick off uh, any Mangonels that Wrath picks, throws out. That's probably what he's thinking. In the meantime, Ooh, he's what is he doing? really trying to get this castle up, but it just might not happen yet. What is he doing? It's be and just some great micro from Wrath here. Oh no. Yeah, he's just got to pick off that last villager, and he will. So that castle will be stuck at 96% for a while. Oh, gracious. All right, but Benjamin sent in all his villagers. I'm going to finish this castle. And, yeah, I'd like to see the castle finished, but at what cost? And Yeah, and, and what does it, it really doing? give you to protect that stone? And, you know, that's it. That's really it. Let's see, how much, how much does he know of the center island? He doesn't know enough of the center island to know that this is the only stone. Oh, it's not yeah, the, the only gold. stone. The other stone's no, there's, there. this other stone is closed down oh, there. Oh, but, but he's sitting war galleys on it. Okay, so that's a pretty good move. Okay. Um, maybe he's thinking he's thinking the long con here as far as uh, that nice stone, but now he really needs to go on offensive. But he'll be into imp. Probably by a large one. Check out Benjamin's or Rats Rats now. Rats got himself up to about 800 gold. Probably thinking about hitting an imp soon, just not as soon as uh, Benjamin was. And yeah, Benjamin's got water control, so he's able to harass. He's able to harass from the water, so you see a lot of villagers going idle for a raft, being forced to relocate. And and now, what do you what do you do once you get to him? What what do you do as the Italians? What do you do in, in Benjamin's situation here? I'm not I'm not exactly sure. Well, definitely because he's got the castle. So def you always want to put out um, a trap. When, you, when you're an Imperial and you can put out a treb and you're... Your of course, you can trap down these two yet. TCs yeah, on the just, middle island, yeah. Just that range, just the range of the sea is just completely makes it uh, so useful for you. Um, there we go. I'm not got happy two to people. see that he lost his... Uh, that he's kind of losing his map control near his other TC that he had there because he had nothing there to protect it. Yeah, these mangonels, these three mangonels. Oh, and look, there's two mangonels now, and, and Expo's attacking his uh, TC to the top yeah. here. Yep, that's what I was pointing out. Yeah, he's just got nothing back there to protect it, so it might go down. He's got... Well, I'm... 
good nah, decision to make another mango now. Is this not for me? We shall see. It's definitely getting messy, which is good. Um, but I do see Benjamin losing more ground than he's gaining, which I'm not happy about. Oh, we do see a Mangonel trade. Okay, so that TC will be under less pressure for the time being. So Benjamin's up to Imp, but with not a lot of res. So let's see what he's thinking. I don't think he's not really thinking much of anything. Wow. What he was thinking is, I'm going to force the GG just by scaring him by letting him know I'm an Imp. Wow. Mm. Lil did a wrath no. Benjamin had no res behind that to really do anything with it. Oh my goodness, GG mind games. And that is a great first game of the weekend. Wow, oh my goodness. It's good. That is exactly how I wanted to see the Italians warfare play out, I think. I wanted to see the hot, like the strong water. Uh, uh, wow, that was great. That was, I like seeing big numbers like that. Yeah. Nice to see you. It's nice to see you, man. I see them uh, forced to play off of each other. And uh, who could do it better? At the end, we see uh, Benjamin won. And yeah, I'll, I'll agree with you there. He won that by mind games. I don't think he was winning at the time being there. Uh, I no, say, absolutely. Though, with, with all the water control, though, maybe that's why. But... You know, yeah, he was harassing all of his villagers. He had uh, galleys all around the island sitting there just harassing bills. Uh, maybe that's maybe that was starting to wear on him, you know? Uh, it does. It would hurt productivity, I guess. Uh, and maybe that added up. All right. All right. Well, we will be moving on. We're going to go back to the uh, weekend SmackDown lobby here. And uh, <clears throat> we'll see what's next from, from Racer. So was there another game going on while we were watching this one? Yes, there usually is. Okay, I thought there was. I wonder what that I wonder if that was an Italian mirror too. It seems like that's the meta right now in a lot of water maps is to choose Italians. What about maybe Molay on this map? You know, for the harbor upgrade? That could be that could, could be great. nice. For ten, yeah, protect your, your starting island. Of course you'd have to get to Castle Age against you know say you're playing against the italians and they have that cheap up that could be really hard to contend against as the as a more yeah i could see it being very effective um uh, and just thought it would, it would lock down so much actually i really like that i really like yeah, that the upgrade. harbor play Whew. all right so we'll hang out racer will say we're going next i uh, know saying i would take vikings galleys can be strong but nobody would you though with the lack yeah, with the lack of the know, fire galley, can you really push? Can you really like hang on in feudal at all? No, you know we did just see that it did take quite a while for for the ships to get there. Maybe he would have time to make six, seven galleys, and you know, and then you can contest. You can contest some fire ships with six or seven. I, I, I could see where it could happen. It would definitely have to be played out just right, you know. Of course, on migration, you think so? Yeah, I think maybe the distance, like you were saying earlier. Okay. You know, so that's maybe the maybe, maybe the one one of the few water maps where I could see it being being the case. Sometimes player will go fast, Cal. So, yeah, I've seen it. I just yeah. uh, like to see. It. I wonder though if if you pick Vikings, does the other player know you're going fast, Castle? I mean, I guess you can. Might be an easy assumption at that point. But we'll see. We'll wait for this. Uh, Next game. Man, yeah, now, now I'm really hyped. I want to see a Malay now. <laughs> <laughs> Byzantines are underrated on water, though. What's the Byzantine bonus on water now, now that you say that? Uh, I believe their fire, their fire yeah, ships get plus one was... range. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's from get-go or if it's, if it's what they get in Castle Age or if it's researched. Not a hundred percent sure. Let's see. Unique units. Greek fire gives fire ships plus one range. Um, is, it, is it immediately from the start of the game though? It's castle age. Okay. Hmm. It's um. Uh, 
Greek fire provides a plus 40% increase over the normal range of 2.49 that fire ships normally have. Yeah, you're right. Ah, oof. That would be. Think, think about that. Say you mass up, like, say you're sitting in, um, you know, Wrath or, or um, you know, Wrath's position and you've got all those fires when you hit Castle H. That would be a heck of an upgrade. All right, what we could do is we could jump in one of these other games and try to uh, and see how they close out. We'll be, we'll have some catching up to do, but we could do that. Sure. Okay, let's uh, let's jump in game four. Dart Dartagnan versus Big Mac. Oh, one of their built-ins is that as well. Oh crap! Look at me. What'd you say? <laughs> I think somebody was saying one of their. Oh yeah, fire ships attack twenty percent faster. Yeah. Oh, whoops. I was just looking at their unique unique tech. All right, two megabytes. All right, so we might be pretty mm -hmm. far behind this. So just make sure you're on fast speed here, so we catch up. Let's see, host is. Oh, they're fifty minutes into the game. Okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, well, we can give some thoughts on it. Uh, let's see. So, Gray, we can see D'Artagnan. He's going with Italian, so we're going to see a little bit similar to last. Oh, thanks, nobody. So, we'll see a little bit of the same play from last game. But Big Mac going as. I see that right? As the Slavs. That like, is just wonderful. I love that. Uh, uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Noob here. I'm going to go to Tech Tree. I don't know why he's going with Slavs. I've got no understanding of why he's picking slabs on this map. Faster farmers? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he That's... wants to land. It, he wants yeah. to land, I'm thinking. Oh, he already and he already did. So he's landing and dropping a barracks pretty much immediately, but he's gonna just to give you an idea, I'm up to minute 16 and a half actually watching light games on this speed. Yeah, I do 20. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, duh. Of course, oh, you got scouts on his bed. Oh my God, these scouts Wait. were dead. Wait, so he's gonna be? Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. I saw so I'm a little behind you, but I understand. Yeah, he will be. He is just going for the straight land. I oh like my, it. savage. I'm digging it. Holy crap! I like you it a lot. You should have deep control of that of the main island. Though. Yeah, I can't wait to catch up to see how this has been playing out. Man, wish we jumped in this one. New meta, boys! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if Weekend Smackdown wasn't such so fast paced, I'd say cut it right here and we cast this game. But we've got, <laughs> we've, we've got to keep up with the tournament so that, we, uh, so that we're there for the final. Oh man, this would have been like. So, oh, wait, so... Look at all the crossbows! Look at all the crossbows! Oh my god. I can't god. see the crossbows. I'm behind you. <laughs> Big Mac, I swear, landed 20 crossbows on... This is insane. I like this, Trey. You're like giving me a heads up, kind of. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh I, oh, I see it now. I see it. Okay. I didn't see the landing yet, but I see I see these crossbows, so I see where they're going to show up at. I was going to point out, at about minute 26, uh, D'Artagnan was had enough of Big Mac and was just had so many war galleys attacking his, uh, <laughs> attacking his I see it. Okay, I see all these crossbows and a siege workshop behind it. That's probably gonna be really effective. This is similar to what we saw last game, except uh, on the main on the island rather than the mainland. A whole bunch of bad rooms, eh? and then Big Mac's gonna be going up to Imperial Age. Oh, D'Artagnan's already in him. Nice. Oh, I can't wait to catch up. Oh my god. Big Mac just... <laughs> Alright, do I see a standstill at the moment? I don't see too much. Well, D'Artagnan looks like he's taking over the middle island. I'm at minute 39. It looks like he's going to be landing a whole bunch of rams. And, I'm at uh, minute 51. <laughs> it just started. gets ugly. <laughs> Oh, it's about. It looks like it's about to get ugly over here. Man, you thought Weekend Smackdown was the fastest-paced tournament around? You had no clue. <laughs> oh, this, there's no way this TC is staying up. There's no way. That's Don't gotta talk be to me, noob. What? What? Oh God! The trash talk. Oh there was my trash God! Talk I can't even. Too? Oh, at the very this, end. This has to be. So Big Mac is just, he's just leaving his island. That's what I'm seeing now. Oh, I've got so much goodness. more catching up to do. 
Oh man, wait, what's he doing? What's he, okay, he's just landing over here. So Big Mac wants to hold the middle island now? Being this far behind? I don't have a lot of faith in that decision, but we'll see what he can do with it. <laughs> well, he's gonna hold off those arbalists. These are so many capped rams. What's his plan? Other than to get wrecked. Oh no, yeah. I mean, the, the boyars would have been good against. He's just way too like to make it boyars. Is he, is he just gonna be a cockroach and run around? Absolutely. Oh, is that was that actually what the plan was here? Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wait, so we're going. <laughs> okay, so that's what <laughs> happened at the end there. He the... says, "Spies have entered your nation," and then it says, "Eleven noob." Uh, Dart Dartagnan says, uh, "He says you want to get masterpiece," and Big Mac says, "Don't talk to me, noob." And then Dartagnan says, "Masterpiece, you want it." Right, and then uh, <laughs> you will get it, and then just a bunch of 11s. Big Mac defeated, and then wow. uh, the antagonist said, F you, noob, and Big Mac said, You're bad for real. <laughs> they stagnant, really, just They're getting so it, just getting after him. I hope, so they, I hope soft. they're friends and uh, know each other or something. Whew. That was so, yeah. Once I saw that, I was like, Because so I don't know if you know this, once the game's over, but you're still catching up. Um, you don't you don't get to see that the time's over. The time keeps going up. So for me, it looked like mm -hmm. it was gonna go to an hour thirty. So I was still sitting here guessing, like, how's he gonna pull this back? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you go. So uh, I guess back to the organizational lobby. Wow, just what an ending! Just did not expect that. Oh. See if we can get. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm on the wrong screen. There we go. See if we can get a get a look at the bracket here and, sh and share that with everybody. If I can get a link to it from the admins, working on it now. So I know we've got Derek Tagnan and Benjamin playing in a game, right? Those are at least two of the competitors. Let me move on. Yes. Hmm. See if I can find this for the stream. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Racer. Oh, oh, we actually had 10 signups. That's why we were... That's why we started in round two. There was actually there was actually two people that had to uh, fight for the last spots here. Sweet. That's what's going on. So we're in the semifinals now. So we've, we're down to Drakard, Hello Benjamin, Breslin, and D'Artagnan. Oh, so did you say Drakard and Benjamin are already in a uh, already in a no, game? No, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Targan and Big Mac. And, yeah, it's just nobody. Okay, so maybe, yeah, so we're probably doing some... Uh, yeah, hello and and, and Drakkard are in game one on in tournament one. Okay. But they so haven't started quite yet. All right, so we're going to... We'll go after that then. Oh, oh wow, perfect timing. The game is timer. starting. And I wonder, I'm almost guarantee that I think Benjamin's going to go uh, Italians. I'm thinking yeah. that's going to be since he won so since we know he won squarely with that I think he's going to want to go for it again right don't keep it's not broke don't fix it just keep going with it over and over again possibly yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe so we will say Dracard we haven't seen him play yet he is right. our um, he's our ranked number one player in this but he has won but he did just win against uh, Reminci so he's running he's coming up with one of course too so that's nice yeah. We'll see. It is still hidden. Oh. It still still is hidden Civ pick. Ooh, Dracard is a he a two point two k player. He's got over six thousand games under his belt. Oh my goodness gracious! Wow. I've never heard of this guy, Dracard. Huh? I'm oh, excited. oh, it's Dr it's Dracon. He's just playing as a different name. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm playing yeah, Dracon's in the tourney. I like it. 
Okay. Well, we're just waiting now for the delay, and we'll see if maybe... Does, does anybody know what choice and Sif he had before? Does anybody... Racer, did you happen to catch his first game? Is there anything, any insights that you catch, maybe? <clears throat> maybe a, a peek into what his gameplay might be. Well, it looks like we're going to find out. And it looks like we are seeing another Italian's Mirror matchup. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, wow. That's, this is a very different looking map. So I'm going to go ahead and give a... Uh, wait, it's Dear Tagnet and PL, PL Patriots who won already two events. Yeah. Yep, I'm aware. Anyway, so give a little slow instruction for Hello Benjamin. He went. He's in yellow here. He went with the Italians again. His map is a lot smaller, or his island is a lot smaller than last time. So I don't think he's going to be able to hold on too much. Uh, that stone is somewhat of a blessing and a curse. Um, assuming he's going for fishing ships. Everway. Oh, balls. Thanks. <laughs> You're good. This is yeah, absolutely. The the map. Yeah. Much different. I, I, and this is going to be even more of a trek. It seems like to get to the to the uh, to the other player. Yeah, it's just going to be it's going to be a little bit more more annoying to go around that lip. But anyway, what I was saying mm -hmm. about the stone. Assuming he's not dropping any farms anytime soon, it's kind of nice to have it right there. I guess if you're going to want to drop a castle, but it's just kind of weird to have that close to the TC. Anything to say about Jacquard? You know, his TC is almost rangeable from the water um, over here on the left. See and that. that is, oof, you know, even if even if it's not hittable in the castle, it's just still going to be able to idle all those farms. He's going to want to take this wood, which might get idle. That is, I don't know, that's probably worse than having your stone right next to it. But, I mean, Benjamin also can get ranged, uh, of course, but so that's, that's something they should both worry about. And nobody looks all that, yeah, everybody looks extremely rangeable from the water with this with this map generation. You know, so. in that case, if you're if you're Benjamin, you've got this stone here, do you put a couple of vills on it and maybe defend with towers on your shoreline? You know, um, against, uh, maybe, uh, you know, just take advantage of it while you're here. Uh, maybe, maybe just drop a castle, maybe to like lock down one specific spot. But actually, sure. yeah, fish is going to be hard, period, to, do, to just do at all. Yeah, um, but in both oof. cases. Yeah, both. None of them really have all that one great of position to dock. Maybe for Benjamin, he goes off the right side of his island and goes over that corner. And Jacquard kind of uh, the opposite goes off the left side and calls like that corner his fishing spot. Yeah, maybe. We'll That's, yeah. Neither, of them are, neither of them are all that great. And one extra key to this map is... Neither of them have the slightest clue about those details. Sure, absolutely. And it's interesting, the, one of the main, or so the stone and the gold, I don't know if you've noticed, the stone and the gold here in the middle on the main island are right smack in between yeah, the two players. Yeah, it's neat. Yeah, I see that. I kind of like that. Oh, that's going to be I awesome. Like that's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be great warfare there if they end up, uh, you know, getting to the spot of landing and stuff. It's going to be... That's actually going to be a great spot for a castle if somebody can put one there because it's going to range both sides of the water. And sure, there's even a hill rest. right here if you wanted to build on it. Yeah. Oh, man. It'll be great. So maybe if Hello Benjamin has the advantage, he'd go forward, put put a castle there, and then he's uh, then he's really got a springboard into Jacquard's base whenever he wants it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, You know, and so we've got two Italian players. I don't think we're going to see that slab where we see a scout rush, you know, and feudal. I, I doubt, I doubt it's anything like that, especially from a top level player like Dracon. I liked it though. It was neat to see. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And the rage, you know, it's, that's just uh, that's <laughs> one of the one of the beauties of one of the beauties of uh, AOE tournaments, I guess. <laughs> You don't see it too too much at a certain level. I was actually I'm still surprised to see it at this level, but uh, yeah, you see it comes and comes every now and again. All right, so we're just uh, moving along here. I see they're both. Uh, Jacquard's got three fishing ships out, as opposed to Hello Benjamin's two, who I'm sure is not far behind. We both have plenty of villagers on wood to keep this production going. Are we able to keep this moving?
<laughs> so, uh, if you're thinking this, I guess we're gonna see, uh, something similar to, uh, game one between Benjamin and Arath as far as that went. So we'll see some, we'll, we're gonna see some, uh, fire galleys come out. Now, they're gonna even have a harder time scouting each other on this map to the generation. Um, so actually, once they maybe, once maybe they get some scouting under their belt, maybe they will change tactics and start thinking, uh, more of a fast castle kind of build. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I think that'd be a good call for uh, for Benjamin because of that stone, of course. Um, I think he could, you know, be a good play. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see, the stone for Hello Benjamin. Yeah, I would like to see a castle out of him. Um, hmm, I don't... With the mirror matchup, you kind of just got to think, how do you play it better? And if Italians drop a castle, you really like to see Genoese cross bowmen because of the bonus against uh, against all kinds of cavalry. But we really won't see any from from Dracard, most likely. Yeah, for sure. That would be, you know, that'd be that'd be really interesting. It'd have to be a very it'd be very unique for us to see that. More likely, I think it'll be crossbows from either player if they want to do any kind of castle age unit. I'm guessing. That's what we've seen so far this tournament. So I can definitely see this going off the castle. I don't see either. I don't see either player being able to lock this out in feudal age alone, just because of the current meta and this map generation is going to make it so hard to get to each other. So I'd like to see somebody maybe actually land early, maybe use that to their advantage to drop a dot closer to the other player. But we see them both click yeah. up to feudal within just about just under 20 seconds of each other. So we'll see how they do with it. Benjamin, or sorry, Jacquard dropping his second dock. I believe we'll probably see the same from Hello Benny. Yep, it's also up. I'd like to see a few more though. I think we saw uh, we saw a Wrath drop like four or five. Yeah, in the first yeah, yeah. I think he had four by the time he hit Fuel Age. That was just something. Um, <laughs> we see the third one coming in from Benjamin. Yeah, right. Um, third has already been completed by Card. Oh, yeah, yeah I think it's gonna be. Side. Oh, and there's coming the. What is that? The fourth? Fourth for Jacquard, I see. Two on each side of his island. That's okay, let's idea. see what happens. They're about to. We'll see how many get queued up. Oh, there's another one coming in from Benjamin. What? Is that his fourth or his fifth? Fourth. That's his fourth. There you go, there's Feudal. We're gonna see. <clears throat> see from see fire galleys yeah, in every single yep in every single dock for Jacquard. He's got three, four, five, six, eight, uh, eight villagers on gold, so it should be good. Uh, notably, if you take a peek at Jacquard, you can see where he where he has a X to send all his fire galleys. So they will come out of these docks and they will immediately be scouting. Yeah, absolutely. He wants to know where everything is. And we're, uh, let's see where the uh, the progress is from Benjamin. Of course, I guess he's going to have Fire Galaxy queued up as well. Yeah. Yeah, they've definitely both they've got the production going. Benjamin. Is special. Well. This is looking like a very, game. very close match. Yeah. Um, it looks like Hello Benjamin is sending all his Fire Galleys one way. That'll mm. probably hurt him later on. Let's see, if, let's see if the next round that comes out of his docks. It looks like they're going up and around, and I bet these galleys coming down and around from Jakarta are going to end up finding a fish or two. Sixteen fish out of Jakarta to nine, Benjamin. That is that's going to be really? quite a big food difference. Yes, wow, oh yeah, he's sitting able to keep that up. And I think Jakarta dropping a market, so he's he's got the res for castle already. Once he uh, once he has the uh, market finished. Mm hmm. So probably by the time any big engagement starts, he'll probably have the uh, war galley upgrade in as well. Yeah, I think he's gonna try and defend with what he's got, and maybe a couple more. And well, Benjamin's doing the same thing though. He's just he just used the market, so he's gonna click up once this blacksmith's done. So yeah, we're definitely Ooh. seeing some uh, very similar play out of both of them. Jacquard just got a little bit of advantage here. He's up by a vill. He's up by some res. He's gonna have. There's, well, even Benjamin though, clicking gold mining and castle age. So it's really, 
It looks like really not that different be from each other. Benjamin, he's got a couple fire shifts. He's got a demo down here at the bottom of the base, and there's two fires coming in from uh, Drakkar. Is this going to be the first kind of battle we're seeing here? Uh, somebody in the chat saying, uh, is that bat signal map? This is the first. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going yeah, to see Drakkar actually lose. There's a lot of health on these fire galleys. He kind of just engaged when he shouldn't have there. Yeah, he's gonna have six, but he's gonna turn this around because he'll have six once these all group up here. He'll be able to take this fight. Yeah, Pans, this is the uh, this is the uh, Batman map. It's on the, uh, new, it's on the okay. new Marvel map pack. <laughs> new Marvel? That'd be DC Trey, man. Oh, DC map pack. Know your superheroes. <laughs> the internet will rage, man. You can't get you can't get details like that wrong. <laughs> Well, I would like to see Drakkar. Drakkar's over on uh, Benjamin's leftmost base. I wish he'd move in right now and he'd find these fishing ships. And actually, as I say that, he does. He's gonna take one. I think he'll take two out before anybody even shows up. Is that Willis I hear, AKA second to none? Yes, it is, Sergeant Peppers. Hello to you, sir. Yeah, Drakkar's got these numbers. I think he's, yeah, he's just gonna patrol these fire galleys for now, wait for castaways, and we'll see war galley upgrade from him. No? Oh, there it is. Okay, now he clicked it. Did it buy camera both saw? Yep, those are the upgrades you're expecting to see from a player this level as soon as they hit Castellage. But I would suspect the same from Hello Benjamin. We see Bosaw coming in. Wells War Galley, Ooh. and I expect Bodkinero not far behind. And I think because of the defender's advantage, as I uh, using your words from earlier here, Benjamin's just gonna have better numbers. Yeah, absolutely. I mean this is gonna be yeah, there's no way he's gonna take this engagement, but he does have he is going to have a cluster of war galleys coming in now. He's got them back at home. There's going to be a big difference. They're going to be a big game changer, I think, in the engagement if he does wait. But, I mean, I think taking out this dock now in the meantime is going to be, you know, just nice to take out production a little bit. Yeah, but he's, I think, yeah, he's going he's gonna to take oh, this. No, no, no I'm like, not oh. sure. Engage, I'm, yeah, 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 okay. The card's doing something really nice, though. He's being annoying. He just has his fire ships on both sides. So it's just enough to keep Hello Benjamin from like being able to fish safely. He's just got to keep bouncing back and forth, and it's going to take his uh, focus away. Yeah, absolutely genius. And now, yeah, he can reinforce. He's got time to make sure that he's unharassed at home. Because he's still got his 16 fish to to Benjamin's 7, and that's that's going to be a big difference. Yeah, so Descartes going for ballistics and careening. Both of those are going to be very helpful in these upcoming battles. He's going to be able to... Uh, Use his war galleys more accurately in any sort of fights, and also Kareem's gonna gonna be uh, putting armor on him. just uh, one more piece of armor on those war galleys against other war galleys, which will add up. I no, I think gonna... if I'm Tricard, I would consider maybe going on a going landing. Yeah, uh, I thought he, I thought he was actually because I saw all those fishing ships, but I didn't. No sign, no sign of a landing coming in from hmm. either player. No transport ships. Yeah, no transport ships used at all for Tricard. So he might actually, but we do see one from Hello Benjamin. So Jacquard might be thinking, if I can just, if I can grab all this water control before he even moves, then it doesn't matter when I go there, because I'm going to be the only one with the ability to even do it. But mm. by the looks of it, if Hello Benjamin moves now, he'll be fine. And yep, he's taking that, he's got a transport ship in between his docks. It'll be uh, filled up with villagers, and he'll be out of here safely. And I think that's going to be a big move. That's going to be... We'll see. What, what, see what he does with it, but that could be that could be a big game-changing move, I think. Let's see, let's see where I'd like him to go. Oh well, let's see. Nobody really has too too much information about the center island just yet. Oh, he's just gonna drop it right. Have... He's just gonna he's just gonna drop it right here. Oh, I, yeah, and that's then? right. But I'd like to see what his next choice is. Let's see where he decides he to go. He wants just a little to the left. He's gonna catch that gold. Come on, Billy's walk a little. Right, so oh, just so there is a big engagement going down. Yeah, so this is where Jakar's gonna push it, and I think he's got the numbers in the upgrades to do it. I think that's the right call, yeah, I think pushing it here is the right move. I think in his head he's probably thinking, you know, I really need to gain this water control. Um, if I'm Benjamin, I delete that transport ship right now. Because his best thing is surprise, and Jakar doesn't know he's on that main island yet. Sure, yeah. The moment he sees it, Jakar's gonna charge. Jakar will know he's gotta switch up what he's thinking. Yeah, he's gonna land. He's gonna have to land himself. Come on, Benjamin. Delete it. Delete it, man. We're at least driving away. I'm watching Jakar's point of view. And 
uh, it's so close. It's only a few tiles. If you moved a single war galley forward, you would see, you would see it. See, and this is those moments that I was thinking the Malay would help. Yeah, okay, with the harbors? Gonna have... Yeah, with the uh, harbors right here. Good great. Ooh, and I think you're kind of winning this. Oh, there we wow. go, yep. I did notice uh, Benjamin actually snuck some... Uh, Stuck a few fire ships all the way around to harass the cards fish. I'm just noticing that now. And uh but yeah. Benjamin called yeah. the GG. He saw how far behind he was. You know, it, it, it was fair. It was a it was a very straightforward. They both they both played their hearts out and just micro. I, I I don't even really know where it went. I think your card had a few extra fish. That probably helped in the long run. Um I don't think the landing really cost Benjamin anything. Uh, nobody really did anything wrong. It was just looks like good gameplay all around. Well, once you get up to a playing against, uh, I mean, Jacon's pro. He's pro level. Yeah, absolutely. And you just, you know, you can play as hard as you want. And sometimes you're just, you're just gonna get beat. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta bring your A game against someone who's not gonna really be making any mistakes, like Jacon in this case. Case and uh. Do your best, and I just think uh, one of the things you see a lot of a lot of times that does win in, in games like this is you got to do something different. Mm -hmm. And uh, we didn't see Hello Benjamin, you know, try anything different. So he was he wasn't gonna, you know, in a in a fist fight here, he wasn't gonna take down your card. And uh, I think that could have maybe done something different for him if maybe it looked like he was on stone, but he's on stone a little late. Like imagine if there was a stone right where that battle is going down. Yeah, the card wouldn't be able to push in at all, and the uh, game would have continued on. But, but while saying continuing on, we're going back to back to the lobbies here, and uh, we'll be keeping an eye on this and uh, seeing where we go next. No. And so the other two players in the other game were who were they again? The other two players were Breesland and Dartagnan. Dartagnan, and that was the one that we just saw. Towards the end of their game. Yeah, Dartagnan. Yeah, it was Dartagnan versus Big Mac. Big Mac being the person who picks Slavs. So I don't think we've seen anybody but Italians win so far. So maybe Italians are the uh, right. The yeah, I don't pick. think we have yeah, Slavs and Italians. Is all we've seen. I, man, again, I would love to see Malay, especially at the end here. Like you know, the last round in the finals. Nobody's expecting it. Uh... I'm thinking. Uh, before I say the other match, I think I know who won, but I'm going to ask uh, behind the scenes here instead of accidentally ruin it for everybody. You know, I never really play water maps. It's fun to it's fun to watch. It's fun to fun to see these kind of maps because I'm I don't know. I'm just a big uh, big way. I never really crossed my mind. I guess to play water maps in all honesty. And I really appreciate a uh, a map like migration because it's not, oh yeah it's not oh, I can't think of what are well I guess like team islands. I guess there really aren't that many water yeah maps, Mediterranean like, say, specifically Baltic. Uh, yeah like what the meta is though yeah there you go Baltic's a good way to call it out like. <laughs> You're gonna see, you're gonna kind of see the same stuff each time. Cross, I guess that's that's sort of. Eh, nah. Well, cross, but you still see, yeah, you still see it though. As far as uh, if the same, if uh, opposing players dock the same pawn, you're still seeing fire galley wars. Um, it's really it's just really who gets them out first and takes out the other people's fish and then maybe holds, but you don't even have to hold. Um, and that's mm -hmm. really, and you can kind of take what I just said and throw it at most water maps. Migration, yeah. on the other point, with how much more time and, and distance there are between each other, really changes that up. Yeah, absolutely. It does It does give you, it gets, yeah, it really gets to see a whole different lot of styles. Even like the slabs, the slab landing with the scouts. Oh, that was just, that was awesome to see. You know, you can even see plays like that. Uh, Toby, thank you. Thank you, oh, for the, thank you for your welcome. Thanks for the compliment, and thank you for being here. And hi to everybody else, and hi to everybody else lurking. I hello, think I hello, said welcome. GG early, but he is Jacant. He will beat me away. Oh, this is Hello Benjamin. Oh, Benjamin. Yeah. Well, it's always nice to uh, 
to keep playing those people like i played in uh uh what was it extreme streamer showdown and if i would have made it past uh my first i went uh one and two against odette if i would have been oh. if i would have beat her i would have been either a best of three or a best of five versus viper and you better believe I would have got the most I could have got out of those games. Because <laughs> he's going to wreck me. Oh, like, 100%. He's just like, destroy. Like, it's not like I'm somebody. It's not like I'm 2K and like can hold my ground. Or you're like, I forget what you were, Hell Benjamin, like 18, 17, or 1900, something like that. Like, at least you, like, we understand why you're there. I'm a 1300 no. player, man. Viper's going to do whatever he, like, he's not going to masterpiece me. He's going to paint the Mona Lisa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to, they're going to save that gameplay as, as we're. <laughs> yeah, Benjamin, your games were, your games were a pleasure to cast. Absolutely. You put, you made all the right decisions there in the, uh, there in your last game. It just was just beautiful to watch, but I don't know. <clears throat> uh looks like we're waiting for the other game to close up but kind of not getting kind of not getting the point to go cast it so maybe it's close to ending maybe they already know who it seems okay, nope. <laughs> <laughs> by the way i beat doubt on a stream streamer showdown tournament two to one. Oh, really benjamin whoa 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 whoa, whoa nice. man holy cow way was when you <laughs> <laughs> just a tip fyi toby um Vubli's still saying you're live fyi so you might not realize that you have that open or no you just oh you're just still logged into you're still logged into Vubli, that's all never mind it's all good man i was just like Hold on, sidebar between t t streamers right now. Because they saved for some reason. Interesting, interesting. Just, just uh, reading some of the stuff from, from Racer as far as uh, get this going. But it looks like it's going to be Jacquard. And most likely, let me check this bracket, to Targnan. In the final. And I'm I I don't want to say it, but I think I'm gonna to have to root against your card just for the underdog. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. And what's the other game the other game at you said minute wise? Uh, I don't know minute wise, but it's over now. It just seemed they uh, oh, okay. have a little trouble sharing the wreck to like, they always confirm. Maybe they saved and exited, it looks like, instead of actually letting it end. Hmm. Interesting. But we'll get this going. Get this going as soon as possible. And, oh yes, you're right. This will be the best of three. Um, yeah, well, well, definitely. I'm asking. Yes. I want to be sure. Yes. Please. Okay. Yes. Good. Cool. Good. Good. Okay. Good. 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 Yeah, I was thinking. Thinking you're. They are talking about definitely. Uh, he can. But I left before GG. Could be he had to leave. Oh. Okay. Now I see what's going on. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Honest of him to say Dare Tiger is definitely winning, so we'll see. You know, we'll keep this going. Actually, I'll play some music in the meantime while we're uh, waiting for this to pick back up. Excellent. <laughs> started humming i was like how do you know what i'm playing you can't hear it <laughs> <laughs> yeah no 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 do you uh i'm excited to see a best of three this time um yeah. can they let's see can they repeat let's let me flip over to the rules can they repeat um sibs um no civilization repeat okay oh, so we will at least good. see something else other than italians interesting
Interesting. Having a little trouble figuring out who belongs in the final. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Never seen well, that before. What was love it seem? Did you catch ECL yesterday? I was catching? casting ECL, man. Really? Oh my goodness! I did not even get to tune in. Yes. I will. Yeah, uh, on, on, Dem Eisred. Dem Eisred was the caster for Ruby Official, and I co-cast it. I will say, eight hours straight of casting something like that is a challenge. Especially oh, absolutely. Because both of us made the mistake of casting leading up to it. <laughs> so, I think we were we were both we were both approaching probably ten hours of uh, being live. Wow, Which I guess dang. isn't much when you put it into the into the idea of like, hey, people do twenty four hour or more streams. Well, it's true, sure, but sure. But I it's guess still like... doing it no no prep without thinking about it like that. Wow, man, that's awesome. I will definitely, I'll definitely watch the recast on Titan. Well, so it is sorry. nice, though. It is nice Say casting what? something. It is nice casting something different like that. Uh, definitely makes you uh, stretch your muscle a little bit more and uh, use, use oh, what skills sure. you have. Hmm. Again, sorry everyone, we're just trying to figure out exactly who is going to be in the final, but we'll be starting soon. This is going to be too big. <laughs> it's all good though. Well, Trey, how's your day going, man? So far, so good. I woke up, I made myself a latte, and Ooh. ordered some IHOP. Got some pancakes delivered. It was great. Wait, you made yourself some IHOP? Wait, no, sorry, no. You, made, you made yourself a latte. Well, first off, that sounds cool. But you got IHOP delivered? Yeah. I, I, yeah didn't, absolutely. I didn't know that's a thing you can do. Um, we have Uber Eats in Lexington, and they have, like, huh. a whole ton of restaurants. Like, you can get everything from McDonald's to, like, Rafferty's to, like, bar food to like food trucks you can get like almost anything delivered now that's crazy and so you just like get on the app you just like hit what you want and it comes to your door and it's awesome <laughs> damn that's pretty cool yeah uh, and it's only it was only like four bucks a delivery charge for me to get i hop like that's worth it i guess it saves you a lot of time if you're gonna have the same meal huh it's interesting very interesting yeah, it's just, I didn't want to go by myself either, I guess. What you, know you say, you didn't want to go by yourself? Yeah, I wasn't just going to go sit at IHOP, you know, and have pancakes. Hmm. <laughs> now that you say that, I'm like, that's something I would totally do. I've got no problem going to IHOP by myself. <laughs> In yeah. fact, I might go to IHOP after this. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. <laughs> this is not sponsored by IHOP. <laughs> yeah. the official, uh, sponsored by IHOP, not really. Um, Brought to you by IHOP. <laughs> uh, I don't know when, but I know there's free pancake day once a year, and um, as yes. cool as that sound, it gets so busy. I don't. You know what sucks about those things? What? If you don't have like three hours to waste, it's not worth yeah. your time. Like I don't. I don't, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. When, wait I, was in, in when line. I was in college, I did. Yeah. And when I was in college, I had three hours to, and I went to free pancake. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm like, I'm not gonna sit you, around just for. Have you always been in Kentucky? Uh, I went to school for a year in Tennessee as well, but um, I've lived in Alabama, Florida, okay. South Carolina, and Kentucky. Okay. Hi, uh, Breslin, by the way. All right, but you've never been. So do you know what Wawa is? What's up, Breslin? What's up? What'd you do say? You know, do you know what Wawa is? Uh, the gas station? Yeah, you have sheets, don't you? What's what? Sheets? S-C-H-E-E-T-Z? No, we don't have that. Okay, well, Wawa's like a gas station that you can get like a lot of food at too. Like, yeah, you can order a, a lot station. of things. Yeah, but does, does yours have like all the food and stuff? Um, Ooh, yeah, I it, like does, that it has that stuff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Me versus both casters. L O L. 
Um, I am 1200. <laughs> Dude, that'd be. I mean, if that if that's what it comes down to. <laughs> that's calm so down. funny. Um. Uh, okay. okay we're we're gonna say oh. <laughs> Throwing down, being like racer. Let's go. Savage. <laughs> um. Anyway, but like, so Wallet is free coffee day, and I find that worth it because you can kind of. They don't. You don't have to like go through the whole process. You just go in, you get your coffee, and you get out. You don't have to like, you don't like check out and get like a zero dollar receipt. You just like go and get the coffee and leave. So while there's still a line, it's still like that is feasible. Cool. Yeah. 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 Like I think when you go to the IHOP free pancake day, is it like one pancake or like all the pancakes? No, you get you a three stack. Get? You get a three stack. So what does the three yeah. stack cost alone? Less than five bucks, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like like, a, like a buck eighty maybe two bucks. Yeah. Like two bucks, man. I got three Wait, hours I can look at my app right now. I, I can look on your week right this second <laughs> and tell everybody exactly right how much back. this pack of pancakes cost. Hey, we can wait. We got to find out how much pancakes cost. <laughs> Dude, this is how... I had another stream devolve into food conversation. Oh, no. <laughs> little, little, do, little do these viewers know, when you're streaming, sometimes meals wait and you just get hungry and you're like oh you want to talk about food i want to talk about food <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah whoops <laughs> i need your sides here we go butter toast um where's a la carte So Dracard, so now Dracard definitely seems to be throwing out who he is, so I don't mind saying it's Dracard. He's saying next time let's do Arena and I'll take on 20 people yeah, at they're once. Like a, they're like a buck 50. They're, they're buck 50 they're, for three? Yeah, they're yeah. not even worth that. I, I will go to the store and I'll make my own pancakes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Grits. Oh. Wait, we're talking about grits? Oh yeah, he knows what's up. Vulu Official knows. He was there. <laughs> Me and Dem Eyes Red talked about grits for a while, but that was on my own stream though. I remember I stopped playing AOE. I just threw up a picture of grits with uh, like, um, what was it? With brown sugar maple syrup on to troll somebody who told me that was the wrong topping. They told you the wrong topping was what? They told me it was the, like grits. Wait, hold yeah. on. What do you eat grits with? Um, you can eat it with a lot of things. They can be breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Yeah, but what? You what's can... the what's the right? If you're eating just grits, what do you put on a tray? You're from the south, so Butter. you, you get and just butter. Um, butter and cheese, or if I'm eating in the morning, butter and like brown sugar, or butter and like syrup, or butter and raisins, or something. I don't know. Okay. Depends. All right. What, yeah, was, what's the, what's the debate? Concept. What's the debate? I'm curious. Um, somebody's like Willis. What is the right topping for grits? Because I lived in Florida for a year, and I'm like, I in don't where? remember. I lived in Florida for a year in Daytona. I'm sorry, you're cutting out a little bit on me. Oh, I'm sorry. I lived in Florida in Daytona for a year. Okay, right on. Yeah. And. Like, I don't remember. That was back in 2011, 2012. And I'm like, I don't remember. And uh, so I ended up answering uh, maple sugar and brown syrup because, like, they were like, come on, man. Everyone knows this. And I'm like, because that's the first thing that came to my mind. So I was like, I was like, okay, that's what I'm going with. What did and, they say? Uh, they're like, they got real mad. They're like, no, butter and salt. That's it. Get out. And I'm like, okay. Okay. I, the, yeah, butter is like the first thing you put yes. in grits. And then anything else on is like extra you know what i mean okay you got okay. shrimp and grits shrimp and grits and cheese that's like a dinner meal of grits but then in the morning you could have brown sugar and grits or you could have like raisins and grits or peanut butter and grits different things dude there's a chance this guy bugs out he doesn't play <laughs> how do you feel about we're best of three against dracon <laughs> that's gonna be hilarious okay that's, that's, <laughs> a, that's a different sunday you know that doesn't happen every day <clears throat> well, I have. To, I, I guess I have to warn him. I am on a bit of a hot streak lately. <laughs> <laughs> the can't be afraid. Trey just recently beat three eleven hundreds in a row. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I don't know who's currently logged in as Wubly Official. That's kind of funny. 
It could be one of a few people, I'm not sure which one it is. <laughs> Never know. It's, it's, don't pay any attention to the man behind the curtain throwing up the Kappa <laughs> at AoE. Voob Kappa. I was like, I don't know what that one's called. Voob Kappa. I don't know if I've seen Racer play in a long, long time. I'm going to take a look at his profile, see what his last game was. See, his last game was... Oh, I don't know. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, who, who exactly were we waiting on to, to come back? Was it D'Artagnan? Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah D'Artagnan. Oh, okay. Well, we invited him. Hmm. We'll see. <laughs> Go play it here. Hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Does, does Jakar not even have any membership right now? Oh, wow. Yeah. He's really going for this. This is actually useful to him. Oh, yeah. He, really, he wants the Vubly. Yeah. Okay, well, right on, man. Cool. Well, thank you for... Oh, he's making good gameplay for us to talk about. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> cool with me. So, do you like to cook? What? Do I have to, do cook? Like to cook? Do I yeah. like to? I do. I don't find enough time for it, though, man. That's the same. Between, I yeah. currently work an hour away from home, and I don't work only eight hours. Oof. So a lot of my days are just like the work and done. Like I've come home at, I think I came home at nine o'clock twice last week. And that's like start, like I leave my house by like 7.30 a.m. So oh I'm just like, goodness. I'm like being out of the house that long. By the time I get home, like, no, not happen. Yes, please. <laughs> let me just stay here. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get that. And so I'm trying to switch that up, either find a job closer to home or find a reason to move closer <clears> to work. So we'll see how that plays out in the... I'd say I, I solve that issue within the next two months. Cool. Well, hopefully, you know, that's... Uh, hopefully you find this is the perfect one that's, like, really exactly what you need, you know? Right. Or I magically become such a good streamer that I just stream, even though that's not really the plan whatsoever. <laughs> Well, it will open you up for more time streaming. I mean, if you've got two less hours in the car, that's two more hours in the oh, day. Yeah, that, dude, that's exactly the thought. And to anybody oh pay attention, that, there's there's so much truth to that, that I would just be on my on FUBU official and on my own channel more and more. If I, I mean, if I worked somewhere 15 minutes away, that would be an hour and a half less of driving. Yeah, I, man, that just would be, I mean, that's just such a life difference, you know, really. Oh, yeah. My Probably. my commute. I'm lucky. I had uh, a semester in college where I state capital here, and it's a 45 minute drive, and I, that was a ton for me. It felt like I can't even imagine, like this not even this bad. And it was only a semester. So, a job I had a while ago. I would start at six t six a.m. and I, that was like a 17 minute drive, and that was before I ever really. Ever really experienced life, I should say, away from home. This is after <laughs> I lived in Florida for a year, but before I like got my first taste of the yeah. real world. So I'm like, oh my gosh, 17 minutes, such a big drive. Dude, <laughs> that'd be awesome right now. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Like sometimes uh, I'd hit two minutes of traffic and be like, oh, two minutes. Dude, if I could be home 20 minutes, like that'd be awesome. I I'll, I'm lucky. I've got I've got about 15 to 20 minutes. It's just like, but it's like one straight street. Like it's easy. I basically just, you know what I mean? It's very easy like to meet for me. Nice, nice. Where do you, do you work at like downtown? Do you work like in a... I, I work know. in a, I live in Reading, PA, work in Quaker Town. So it's kind of, it's kind of in a distance from Philly. So okay. like, so that really you ties up. In Philly? No, no, I don't live in Philly. I no, don't live or work in, in no no I, I don't uh, live okay. or work in Philly but you can think of it the same way I might as well be driving to a city. Um, uh, Quaker Town is definitely a small town but it's got a lot of manufacturing for some reason. 
Okay. Right so on. it's just that. So it's just that it has a lot of it has a lot of similar jobs. Um, I work in. Oh, go ahead. I work in downtown Lexington, and we're in Lexington because our owner is from Pikeville, which is like a really small town in in Kentucky. It's like <clears throat> one of the ones you hear about, like on the news. Like it's like that. And so he's like, yes. We hire a ton of people actually from Eastern Kentucky, and we probably employ a good 200 people from Eastern Kentucky. And we also employ a bunch of people in Florida, so we have an office there. Um, and I don't know, it's interesting. It's like in a, it's a cool spot. Okay. Looks like we've got these. Oh, you got you got made host for some reason. <laughs> nope. Get me out of here. <laughs> I'll give ho I'll give hosts a card. Do you want to make yes? And make make yourself a spec. Yeah, yeah get me out of here. <laughs> Okay, let's roll. Poland. They're attacking us from Poland? Is that who he's asking? I think fast, he's saying he has fast proxy at the moment. So yeah, they're just trying to sort out the fast proxy thing. Yeah, so I forget where I was going with that as far as driving. So it's just, it's like, oh, the area, for, for whatever reason, the area is extremely expensive to move there. Like, but okay. for no good reason. Like, I understand if Philly was oh. expensive, but Quaker Town is like a small town. There's no reason That's for the. Weird. Yeah, like. Isn't it in like a nice spot? Supposedly, people like it. I don't see the draw. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's like, like I remember apartments, apartments within like five ten minutes of work were at like thirteen hundred dollars, like for Ooh. a single bedroom place. And I'm like, dude, that's like buying a house. Yeah, that's like double me, pretty much. Yeah, I was like, wow. No, thank okay. you. Yes. And it's just like, it's not like it's special or anything. I just don't, that, I just don't get it. Ugh, that bothers me. That's annoying. It's kind of expensive to live in, in Lexington, like in the, in the Lexington, the city. Okay. But okay. I, I don't want to move outside. You know, I like my community. I like my quick. It's worth it. Wait, never mind. <laughs> Trey, give host back to Jacquard. Oh, God and, dang it. Uh, make... <laughs> I keep getting stuck with this thing. I like how they keep giving it to you for some reason rather than like <laughs> racing by myself. Yeah, wait, what am I? I don't want this. Trey doesn't know what's going on, man. Don't give that to him. <laughs> He doesn't, he doesn't want this. I'm just here to talk behind the screen. <laughs> you can't okay. get Hamachi. I don't know what Hamachi is. You can't get Hamachi, you die anyway. Just go. Oh. Oh, wait, wait. You die anyway. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, okay. Dark Tag didn't try to get some smack talk. I think we looked we looked up his uh his rating, didn't we? Yeah. That's great. I love that. What what love is that? He? Uh, I thought he was in 1800. Yeah, he's in 1800. Yeah, he's 1800. Get I love wrecked that. Tagden, but do your best, man. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Good luck, but you're going to get wrecked. <laughs> oh, oh. Geez, that'd be that'd be awesome if your card wants to hang out and just uh, play another game. Oh wait, I can put I can put the name up now. Nice. Um. Yes. You good? So yes, I'm. I'm fine. Yeah, but um, my Voobly is in Spanish. <laughs> what? I don't how know how it happened. Happen. My Spanish is pretty good, so I can get around okay. <laughs> like you know, everything's fine that way. But when I really want to like change something deep in the settings, is when it gets complicated. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. I like when I went to download Voobly for the first time. I think I accidentally hit Spanish instead of English. <laughs> I don't know how the heck I did that. Just push and so now I just have real to quick slowly, for AOE. I've had to just slowly get better at Spanish as I've been using Voobly. <laughs> it's been awesome. All right, I'm gonna cut cut this music and we'll be in game in a minute. Nice. This will be good. This will be good. 
and you got 20 seconds. I think we're seeing Italians. I think we're going to see at least one player using Italians. Italian in first mirror game. first, yeah. Yeah. I don't think you want to risk being caught out dry, high and dry, when your other person's the Italians and you're not, you know, just because we know it's it's done them both well. Um, I, yeah, I think it's one of those don't broke, don't fix it things. All right. Well, hi, everybody. So we are in game number one of the best of three of this of uh, August 12th the weekend smackdown uh, in this final here we're seeing Dracard also known as Dracon playing against, playing against D'Artagnan and uh, like we've seen most of today we've seen another Italian's mirror um, so we've got Dracard here in purple take a peek a quick look at his map anything with migration uh, you can't really hang out on your map too too long there's not too much to say about the generation of it other than we'll say He's okay as far as not being too rangeable from water, but other than that, there's not too much to say. Trey? Oh, sorry, and also this is casted by Willis35 and joined by our co-caster today, Trey W95. Take it well, away, hey, Trey. everyone. Yeah, man, this map, oh my goodness, look at this. They do not totally have different. Yeah. the middle in between them. It's not a middle this time. It's a to the side. It's This is this is crazy. This is, ah, oh, this is exciting. There's gonna be water warfare right off the bat. There's no scouting necessary. This is going to be, wow, a totally different game. You know, I like to say that's great about it. Even if both of them go to the tip of their island, their scout quite, can't quite see that yet. So they're going to still make their decisions uh, based on thinking Ooh. that there's a middle island. Tell you the truth, if I'm D'Artagnan, if I'm Dracon, can he see this? Does he know? Does he, no, he didn't see that. The scout can't see far enough. If I'm D'Artagnan and I go to the left side of my island, I think he'll be able to recognize the things there, and he might think we've got another uh, bat signal map before he mm -hmm. uh, makes the right choice. Well, Let's they both are already wearing their gear in. Oof, that's a little bit cruddy. If looking at your card, they're both behind the wood line, so that's a little crazy uh, generation for him, but he looks like he's going to be able to handle it. Uh, he was luring two, two, but RNG's hurting him there. One of them went back, and one of them's not playing all that nice. Doesn't want to make it to the TC to get uh, to get eaten by those vills. Oh, you know, I think this is going to be another standard game, I believe, right? We're going to see just the normal straight into fire galley. Um, you know, wait to land. Probably going to wait. See them both go castle age on their home island. I would say. Um, yeah, def I would say so too. Definitely, I could see yeah, that. Especially coming. because it's not in between the two of them, I would say, right? Yeah, Jacquard's gonna. Yeah, and Jacquard's gonna be behind because if he's still struggling with this these deer, he hasn't got one. Ah, this dang deer! Oh man! Looks like he's so fed up, he might actually start building the deer. Oh no, no, he's dropping his first stock, I believe. Yes, he's putting his stock over there. Okay, I thought I was like, is he gonna start walling these deer towards his TC? <laughs> Screw yeah. this! Yeah. I think. Oh, he's also got a bugged sheep. Oh man, dude, Jacquard actually, as much as there's not too, too much to say about the island generation on migration, this is about as bad as it gets. Yeah, I mean, he could chop that through, but that is, ah, that's a buck sheep, that's, that's gonna be annoying. That's, that's food out of his pocket, that's 100 food right there, out of his pocket. Right. We finally got this one deer that's just on a rampage across the entire <laughs> island. There you go, finally <laughs> stopped. Yes, yeah, so that's actually gonna that's gonna help out D'Artagnan. If you see it's showing in the score, he's uh he's gonna be a little bit ahead resource wise for a while here. Uh Dracard is now on fish though, so that'll help him out. It uh, looks like his, fo his focus got stolen away by that a little bit too much. So he ended up getting housed. Let me see, anything special come from D'Artagnan? They're both on one fish. I don't see anything too out of the ordinary yet. No, absolutely a standard play so far. It looks like, you know, the one we put with them seem to go with the one <clears throat> lumber camp just so they have extra wood. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing nothing special here. Nothing crazy. Now, they both they both have places they can defend for their for their fish. You know, we've got the top of the map and the bottom of the map for each player. They can kind of safely fish off the back of their island um when things start to heat up yeah that's nice it seems like there will be maybe two choke points to defend this mm -hmm. this is a moment where a castle could really could really lock down oh absolutely really lock down yeah, right. i just want to be anywhere for it, anybody to get through if you see Ooh, if you take yeah. a look at d'artagnan's map there's um where his uh lowest stock is see how he's got a little bit of land that kind of points over to the mainland 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That'd be a great spot for a castle, even with that little bump from the mainland. It would really push. It really push uh, any boats that try to come through. Absolutely, yeah. Same, same with the tip, the tippy top point here of Drac of Dracards. You know, if the, any uh, boats are coming around the uh, the bottom of the island, they're gonna get. They would that'd be a good spot for a castle, I think, and helps protect his fish kind of further back. Yeah, right there where those trees are. Yeah, I see what we're talking there. about. Yeah, but for now, it seems like we're going to see uh, pretty much uh, the same kind of play we've seen most of the day. Everybody's uh, keeping their wood eco going and going into fish. Keep it up. Um, we will say Jakarta is behind, though. With how much effort those deer took, that actually that really did slow him down. He's behind yeah. on fish. He's behind on vills. And even uh, if he got housed, he had to grab loom early. And I think he had um, to add a farm. Add a farm or two because of that fit or because of that bug wow. sheep. And yeah, and then also giving up on the deer. Yeah, that's really unfortunate for him. So that might be yeah. uh, just the kind of business uh, D'Artagnan needs to uh, be in this. Yeah, D'Artagnan has two more fish, three more fish now than um, than D'Artagnan or than uh, Dracard. That's really good for him. He's gonna click up. He's gonna be first to click up. If he's paying attention to the score, mm -hmm. he knows that. Yeah, absolutely. That's what he does with it. See how many he has? One fishing ship or one one dock, two dock against Dracard's one. I think if you assume assume a player of Jacquard's level would know absolutely that he's clicked up. Oh yeah, he's going. He's transporting. He's transporting pills. What's going on there? Why is it a Dark Age transport ship? He's transport. It oh, should be okay. a transport raft, but okay. Interesting. Or maybe just maybe I got that wrong. Actually, no. I don't know why we haven't seen this before. You know, the scouts the scouts kind of useless once you uh, scout your own base. So why not transport and find out what's going on? Oh there? my goodness. That's there you go. There you go. That's. You know what? This is going to do something very good for Jacquard. He's going to know what's going on with this map. And, I, uh, I, it seems he's probably going to use that to his aggression. I bet he's going to use the edge of this middle part to maybe either drop some towers or a castle or some, or some docks. Um, I think you're right. I think it's actually going to be a huge advantage. And Jacquard's so far behind that D'Artagnan's going to be up to Fetal before he even clicks. Yeah, D'Artagnan's up. Jacquard still hasn't clicked. He has the res for it, but it's just making making more villagers hopefully catch up. And he's thinking, he might even be thinking like a fast imp kind of play here, going up on 31 vills. Absolutely. I mean, he must be. Dude, got a blacksmith and a market coming up for D'Artagnan. So, <laughs> so he's thinking fast castle, and he is protected at the moment. Yeah, he's at least thinking fast castle. Yeah. Probably fast funeral or, or fast in. Okay. So Jacquard's only even on one dock. I'd really like to see D'Artagnan go aggressive right now and uh, mm -hmm. shut that down. He'd be able to. Is is Jacquard thinking maybe uh, let let uh, D'Artagnan win the water at first and then come back and win the water back later after he's fully boomed out and secured the middle island? Is that maybe. is that maybe a thought process? Um, if you notice, he hasn't even has made any down. other docks. So he's yeah he's not thinking water at all. He might be thinking I'm just gonna do um, what I can with my barracks is just not going down um, on the middle of the map. Okay, I can see from him he's probably thinking. Uh, what he said, Jacquard's barracks. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So I think neither player is push, pushing this uh, effort. Oh, there you go. Fire galley's finally coming out for for uh, D'Artagnan. Um, yeah, I think Jacquard's got no. No intention of applying any water pressure right now, or even holding. I just say he's just now getting up to feudal. We're gonna see D'Artagnan and Castle in less than a minute from now. The card is gonna have the res. Let's see if he drops. What buildings is he dropping? He's got a stable and a blacksmith going up. So we'll probably hmm. see scouts from him to scout out this middle island. Maybe a landing. Maybe a night play. Maybe a land of oh. a night play. Yeah. We well, you know what just, sucks. Just, see, Dartagon finally made some finally made some fire galleys, and he's going the wrong way around the mainland. Maybe uh oh, does sorry, does Italians get cavalier? I don't remember. I think they do, right? I'm not sure, but I'd appreciate if you tech, check the tech tree for us. I sure am. Uh, yes, they do get cavalier, but they do not get paladin. They also and husbandry. Okay. All right, so Dartagon's okay. So he's got the war galley upgrade coming in. Yeah, he's gonna. He's gonna clean sweep this fish. Oh man, come on, bring the pressure sooner, man. We will shut this down. The card is not so ready for it fish. at all. No, absolutely not. Wait, this troll did he, did fish he not from notice? Did, did he go right back? Oh man, he went too fast. Oh. He didn't notice. Okay, but now oh, he, 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 sees, he sees the piece of island. He has to know. He's gonna hit some fishing ships here. There you go, he sees one. 
Come on, he's seeing this. He's seeing this migration of fishing ships. Take him out. There we go. This is actually a pretty good play from uh, Jacquard. He kind of knows he's behind, so he's actually running his fishing ships away while he while he gets uh, some fire galleys out himself and tries to even out mm -hmm. these numbers. Absolutely. Oh, uh, there's a. You may be able to save a couple. There's a chance our tagman finds that that uh, transport ship. Now he's gonna, he's gonna miss it. It's a shame. Come on, but Dartagnan just got such an advantage right now. He really needs to push it, but he's going every direction. Yeah, I really one. think you could take you could take more advantage of it if you wanted. I think he just doesn't know. He doesn't realize that everywhere he's scouting is the wrong direction. And, and you know, I think a good thing that Dracard did here is he landed far away that it's not visible from from the sea line, you know, from the shoreline. Oh yeah, that's definitely a, definitely an intentional choice. On top of the fact that he's hiding his transport ship behind his yeah, own he's hiding this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but this absolutely. But this uh, fire ship that's coming around the back of Jacquard's base might just be where he needs to find it. Look at how the path is going to come in. It's kind of Ooh, really, it's yeah, that could. That will that tip his hand. Let's see, if, let's see if he sees it. I'm looking at D'Artagnan's point of view right now, and uh, he sees it, but he I mean, might not notice and react to it. No. Oh, man, he's going to have so many fire ships near it. Come on, man. See this. And Do something about it. And there. didn't notice. In the meantime, there's a TC, TC getting dropped now by Jacquard. Okay, so TC going up in the middle. So he's lost, he's lost the water, and he knows it. But dang, that transport ship didn't get noticed. So Dertagon's not going to know that that Jacquard's in the middle, completely untouched. Gonna have no clue. Interesting. Jacquard keeps doing some... everything he can to ru to run Dertagon away. Man, and really, a night, you know, ten nights would absolutely decimate this economy. A, land, a landing from Dracard? Oh yeah, absolutely. Hey, let's see what he's thinking. Is he making just scouts? He's got nothing queued up military-wise at the moment. Yeah. He's got scouts all over that mainland. Um, yeah. He's dropping but, his second TC at home. And it looks like Dare Tagman's trying to play this one TC full aggression. Which I like. I like. It looks like he's gonna he's gonna get these two docks out. At least the third one will probably fall. It really might behind. be the right move. You know, he's got the upper hand right now. I really need to suppress it because because Dracard is such a strong player, he could come back at any moment. Right. And Dracard's gonna get five more villagers away with that transport. Or it looks like it. Dracard's going back to pick up five more villagers, and he might slowly uh, abandon this island. <laughs> yeah, he might just make a new home. And Dartagnan, Dartagnan, that's it. Uh, Dracard's got no more docks. He is off of water. But he does still have fire ships roaming around. The fire ship might find these fish back here of Dartagnan. That'd be really unfortunate for him. Oh, but Dartagnan has landed Dracard, if you notice that, on the tip of, on tip of Dracard's main island. Oh, he sure has. And He's yep, got bot channel coming in, crossbowmen, siege workshop two archery. So we're probably going to see some mangonels and archers. And uh, Jacquard's got nothing at home to deal with this whatsoever. The TCs will help save quite a few bills, but <clears throat> he's gonna he's gonna lose a couple. Oh, that C's workshop. You're right. Absolutely, that is gonna be a big. That is gonna be a big problem. For him. I'm happy to see it. Happy to see uh, this game maybe played a little bit differently than we thought we'd see. Wait, a battering ram? Sure. That's we're, the first we're... choice from Dartagnan. That's a little confusing, but okay. Also, a tower. Oh no, sorry, an outpost, not a tower. Well, this is this is showing up. This is uh, letting uh... coming around the back and towering this wood line though would be whew, a heck of a move. Yeah, it's true. It's true. So we see battering rams. We see crossbows being made. And it looks it's like looks like Dracard is. You're right. Rebuilding on the middle island unfazed. Yeah, he he moved early and he's like, yep. I I think he's aware he's gonna lose. Okay, that this game. is home now. What's that? This oh, this is home now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'd really like to see. So one thing that happens in a matchup like this, somebody like Dartagnan gets a little bit too nervous and doesn't realize exactly how much of an advantage he Say has. Again. Sometimes what happens in a matchup like this, somebody like uh, Dartagnan doesn't realize how hard he's winning and just doesn't push mm -hmm. the advantage. He's got to pay attention yeah. to the fact that he's almost a thousand ahead score-wise. I'd really like to see him use that. <clears throat> Absolutely, and let's see what he's got queued up in here. He's got three rams, and he's got seven archers already. He, yep, there we go, and here they come. They are coming oh, out now. I see him starting to pick off bills on the farms and the gold. We'll see one bill go down, maybe two. Uh, oh, that TC he's going to get that TC, no problem. Oh, yeah, that TC will definitely go down. would like to see Mangonels follow this up, though. Rams are always a funny choice. 
I can't really can't really do the fight themselves. You see a watchtower just kind of go up. It's in an okay spot. It's just in a. It's just so centralized. That's the problem. Well, we're gonna see a down. castle going down by Dracar. Oh my um, gracious! I'd really like to see Dartagon move in and start sniping those villagers. I know that Absolutely. castle's gonna go up, but just take down as many villagers as possible. Sure. Yeah. I take down six, seven, eight, ten. Oh, oh, that came up quick. Yeah, the castle. Yeah, that castle's going. That castle's up. And uh, he's kind of pushed back for him now. That castle's going to be enough to... That gold, though, has been ranged now by that other tower, and they're... But does Dracard care? He's on the main, He's on the mainland. He's, uh, is true, he on true, gold? he does. He has access to as much gold as he wants on the mainland. Um, he's not, uh, he's not, he's not taken gold, from either yet. But he's picked up... Re he's, he hasn't collected them yet, but he is bringing relics back. Sure, mm -hmm. and, you know, it does look really good for Derek Tagnan, but I don't think Dracard is out of this in any means. Absolutely. I think he can. I think he can come back from this. He's got plenty of room on the mainland. Um, he hasn't lost so much at home that I that I would be freaking out, you know. So Dracard's actually losing a lot of villas just due to pathing. They're getting in range of those fire uh, guys. Yeah, walking in the fire something, guy. Path. Something that I don't like that I'm okay. So just now I'm seeing it. Dracard or Dartagnan is uh, moving into war galley, so he'll be able to range more and more of this island, which is I'm glad to see that. I think he, I thought he went a little too heavy on the fire ships here. Mm -hmm. This will be good. Uh, so, but Jakar, though, force. he's going to be behind, but he's, he's got one, two, he's getting his second TC up on the mainland. He's just going to reboom here. Sure, sure, absolutely. I think that's the right choice. Um, maybe he's heading out to this gold over here? Where's he headed? I think he needs the second source of gold now. He's going after a stone, so he's thinking I'm going to defend with castles. Must be, yeah. Uh, and they are great against ships, especially with heated shot. Absolutely, yeah, definitely. It's a huge, huge bonus to being rated against by ships. So Dartakin's actually housed at the moment. He's up to 115 pop against Card 74, and he's he's actually getting ready to uh, to push to push against that castle with a lot of rams. Mm hmm. Yeah. He's poised quite nicely, I believe. Yeah. Um, we've got monks now. I guess he's going to collect some of these relics on the mainland. Um, yeah, Jacquard currently really? has three relics collected already. Still, that one TC aggression. Wow. And there's just so so Jacquard's going to be forced to try to batter down these rams with the villagers, but I think there's just too many crossbows behind them. They're going to be able to pick off these villagers. I think this ta this uh, castle ends up going down by the end of it. We shall see that we see one, two, three, three rams doing damage right now. These crossbows are going to get picked off, though. That castle is yeah. too much for them. Yeah, but um, these rams... Ooh. I think he's... See the villager count yeah, continue to drop and drop. <clears throat> but, oh, we're going to see the, we're gonna see this repaired. This is where, this is where having... Um, oh, wait, what's your card? Did you save this? Card? No. Uh, uh, no. I don't, it's close. No. But no. It down. Okay. Okay. So, so Dracard loses that castle. Now he starts retreating with the rams. Stones. And there's going to be enough crossbows to keep pushing these, uh, keep killing these I villagers. mean, his island is so surrounded now that he can't transport off of it. But he has a beautiful reboom back on the main island. Right. Yeah, I don't think. He, I honestly don't think he cares. He's going to lose all this. He'll be down. But I, you know, is he just he's... now playing time? Is he just trying to mess around and get Dare Tagnant to either feel like he's too much ahead or just concentrate on this island? I think. Wow. So Jakar double downs, doubles down. He's actually building a second castle. But this time, oh but this time the crossbows are on it, and they're putting in the damage now. So this castle is going to go up hurt already. Already having a. Oh no. Wait, is it getting denied? Oh, the castle's denied for now. Uh, that TC will take out any crossbows, but there's going to be so much damage on that Those castle rams. before it's ever even finished. Uh, uh, it's at 79. Yeah, I don't know. Oof. Yep. Yeah, I'm surprised, I, I I'm surprised I... Jacquard put that effort into it. I thought he was already thinking, you know what, I'm just abandoning this. Yep, he's, he's going mm -hmm. for it. He's going for it. There's not enough crossbows. I think I can get this castle up. And he's not wrong. He probably will. Yeah, he can will, definitely get it up. But at what cost? Right, absolutely. At what cost? Even, so it's already it's already half dead. There's already rams on top of it. Um, there's a Manganel coming out oh, now. Oh, there's a help? Manganel out. Let's see, I wonder if these war galleys can range that Manganel. Yeah, that Manganel will make quick work of these rams. And that's probably going to get repaired. I'd really like to see Dartagnan, wow. though. Dartagnan needs to keep getting his villager numbers up. He needs to never stop. He needs to, Okay, so you see him going into a lot of farms now. Um, 
eventually here. You know, and you should be able to push harder. If you notice, having that trouble. Go ahead. Your card does have four relics worth of gold coming in. That is really nice for him. Yes. He said he got pushed off his gold, but that that now is coming into play when he's making mangonels and. Yeah, so that castle, that castle's gonna live for now. It's, it's wow. weak, but it's, it's costing Jacquard all of the all of the stone he's gathering to do this to keep this keep this base alive. Now, what I would like to see from Jacquard is maybe a switch into something Ooh. else, and like because he's got to know by now. Yep, he does know Jacquard's on the mainland. Yeah, I think he, he needs to land both. Just landed and started building a started building an archery range. Something that's not good for for D'Artagnan. He's still making crossbows, but two of his archery ranges are their their rally point is in range of the castle. He just keeps throwing one crossbow away at a time and not realizing it. D'Artagnan just sold 600 wood. Is he thinking about going up to him? No, I think he is. He's thinking about clicking up. Does he, he, has, a, he has a university. He hasn't built a second town center, so I don't think he- Oh, but he has the Silk Siege Workshop. Jacquard, easy game. <laughs> if you notice, though, the scores are getting closer and closer They together. are. You know, they he's are. Trying to, he's, he's trying he's to get into Artagman's head. Yeah, he's got all these farms. He is beautifully reboomed now. See, this is a case what do you where- mean? That's beautiful! I'm that using is one hand. <laughs> <laughs> So Nartag, I'd love, to, I'd love to see him just land like ten scouts right now, or actually, no, no, not scouts, knights, and just raid that main island. We're not gonna see it for a little while here. Oh, but he is trying to batter down some. He's battering down some monks. We'll probably batter down a mangal and another monk. That's pretty fun. That's something you don't get to see every day. Love that. Bill's battering down a monk. That's nice. Yep, so he's starting to transport crossbows over to the mainland. I don't think it's a hundred percent the best idea. I'd really like to see him close out this island. Maybe also start collecting this golden stone. Sure, sure, absolutely. Yeah, why not? If you don't have access to the golden stone in the middle, yeah, you might as well take advantage of what you can. Right. And also, just tech into something else as well. There's, yeah, he's gonna be out of gold. Very he's dropping soon. a castle. Who's dropping a castle? Uh, Dracar dropping a castle right in the middle of the map, and uh, it looks like their Tagan just said you nooped. Yeah, I see <laughs> to that. <Dracar. laughs> Love that. Yeah, so D Dracar's gonna be up to imp as well, and I think at this point he's playing it better. Hey, Dracar, he's on so much. Go he's on. He's got so much food in the bag right now. Compared to Dracar, who really just only has food. Uh, this crossbow is really... now harassing this uh, gold at the top of the map. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. That's really good to see. Oh, wow. He needs, he needs to climb up that hill. He's current. He's going to lose this fight due to a hill bonus against one oh. of his. That's extremely unfortunate. Oh, that, that just shouldn't happen. We're going to see Arbless from Dartagon already coming in. Thumb ring. Why didn't he already have thumb ring? That's, that's a misplay. Yeah, that's a... Uh, well... The card building yeah. another castle. So it's the only thing. So D'Artagnan's only ploy here was I'm gonna get to Imp, but I'm gonna go Arbalest, and I really don't think it's gonna do it for him because he knows Dracard defending with castles. So what are Arbalest gonna do any different than what he's doing right now? Really needs to also mm -hmm. maybe get into Capdram. I don't know if Italian gets Siege Ram or not. Um, but really get his own castle up. Uh, get some Trebs out. Let's see what we can do with yeah. this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> it looks like uh, the card's gonna s switch into. Uh, he's looks like he's getting body cameras, so we're gonna see some skirmishers from him. I assume we'll see the, the tech for um, elite elite skirmishers really soon. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, the card's just gonna have so many castles everywhere. So right now, even though it seems like he's losing, he's really got the map control as far as resources are considered. Because <laughs> absolutely, it's just gonna be hard to break, you know. Yeah. Uh, Tagging's just on no gold now, anywhere. I think I would maybe consider Cavalier. Um, I mean, he's got plenty of farm space. He's probably got plenty of food now. Uh, I think I might consider Cavalier. Oh, he's finally, he's finally dropping some villagers on uh, Dracard's original base. So maybe we'll see a castle coming here. Um, let's see, we see some Arbalest trying to take out a Mangal. They're not spread out. They might get taken down. Magnus trying to take out that uh, that tower that's been ranging the gold. Okay, yeah. so what happened? 
these arms, yeah, are gonna come in. All right, so Dartagnan's, yep, he's building a castle near that siege workshop, so it'll be on Dartagnan's base, or Dracon's base. Dracard's original base. But he can see it. He can see that's going up. And uh, it looks like Dracard looks like he's gonna try to batter down this tower, which isn't gonna work, because there's already Arbalest waiting there to pick off villagers. The tower might go down, but so will every villager that goes after it. Actually, no, the tower's gonna stand. Sure, Five yeah. villagers is not enough. Yeah, he's just throwing away units now. I I, I don't know. Dartagnan picking up lots of getting forging, capped ram, plate mill armor. He seems to be teching into some sort. Maybe he's Dracard probably thinking of con Contieros at some point. Absolutely. And look, it looks like Dracard is now building a ton of docks off the left side of his main island now. His new main island. He won. Maybe I need to catch up a little bit here. Oh yeah, I got a little bit of catching up. One, two, three. I see three coming up. Yeah, if he gets, if he starts, if he goes for like, oh wow, six, seven. Yeah, if he gets War Galley out and he can range, if he can range uh, Darkagnan's base, Darkagnan's only on his original island. But still, yeah, can... even though, oh, man, with all the freaking, with, oh, I'm like getting, I'm getting frustrated with it. With all the lead uh, Darkagnan's had, Dracant still gets a Treb out first and is going to be Trevor down his castle. The, and the one TC, he's still on one TC. It, come on, man, oh man. But what I don't like about that, he's only at 68 vills. Like he seen, he stopped villager production. He has 600, he has 700 food in the bank. He's just not killing up villagers. He's probably just getting a little Fast frustrated. Fast fire ship not coming in for Jacquard. Hey, just oh yeah, that's good. Oh wait, for Jacquard? Oh no, that's that's not good for Dartagnan. Yeah, he's gonna be able to. I think he's gonna take water back, kind of like you were uh, you were suggesting earlier. Yeah. Come on, Dartagnan. You know what? I'm really loving your cards this. play this game. I'm really loving it. Man, Dartagnan, you've got a trip. See, he's just not... He just can't keep up with the game. That's the problem. Got too much going on. Oh, he is? Why is Ruby official streaming? Uh, and who are the streamers? Well, we'll get to that a little Hello. bit, Martian. Uh, Dartagnan is actually... He's, he's hitting up the main island. I didn't notice this. He's got Conda oh, yeah. He's stopped it. These condos and these ramps are really doing some work. Yeah. Condos, though, are gonna, they are gonna go down to the... Get them in number if you can get them in mass. And Again, it's actually those a castles. very effective rate, but there's just so many. One, two, is there three castles here for Jakarta? Yeah, three. It's everywhere. But it's really gonna help keep this, keep this under control for the time being. Look, and it looks like, uh... Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna destroy that trebuchet on his main island and keep that castle up on his main island. Really? That destroy. trebuchet went down? Why on earth did that trebuchet down? Wait. I made a bombard. He, Dracard got chemistry, he got a bombard cannon out? A Dude, single bombard. He made just a single bombard to destroy that one trebuchet. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Like, Dracard is playing from the hole in every way, shape, or form, and yet he's just winning so many engagements. Actually, he's taking the score lead. He's behind, not quite Oh anymore. my goodness gracious, he's been behind this whole game! Oh, wonderful. Love it. Yeah, Martian, hello. Yeah. Anyway, so we're streaming uh, Weekend Smackdown. It's a tournament once a week here on uh, Weekly Official. Uh, anyone can sign up. This this uh, this week was anybody rated 0 to 2300. And you're seeing the finals right now. This will be the best the of The settings migration. were... Um, migration? Yep, yeah, migration. And um, best of one for the first. And now that we're in the final. Yeah, we, um, had, the yeah, we had 10 players. And after uh, we figured out seed 7 and 8 from uh, two 1v1s. We uh, it went directly into a uh, an eight-player bracket, and you're seeing you're just in here. For, you're just in time for uh, game one, the final. Final. And it has been a hell of a game. Dracard has been down. Dracard has been down this whole entire game. He just now took the score lead. Um, it's been it's something to catch. Dark Dark calling GG. He doesn't think he can do anything. Wow. All right, wait, he said it, but I don't see I don't see the resign yet. Hmm, interesting. Maybe he's changed wow. his mind. Maybe he wants to try a little bit harder. There we go. Dartagnan resigned. Wow. Yikes. Well, that, that's a play wow. style we haven't seen yet, for sure. I did not expect that outcome whatsoever. 
Drunken Gamer, I think next time we'll see Dave Demizred is tomorrow. Oh, wow, we gotta get out. Oh, I wanna talk about it, but we gotta get in the yes. next game. It's already started. Yeah, and, and no Italians. Woo! Yeah, no Italians. Woo! Maybe my way. I, I'm I'm excited to see this change up. I would really like to see Malay, especially because possibly a gold. We might see a uh, a gold, uh, somebody not on gold, and then be able to use the uh, the force levy tech and just spam two. Yeah, the two handed horsemen. That would be great. Be really nice to see. So let's we'll see. Uh, we definitely think in the possibility of Malay. I liked uh, how someone pointed out, or nobody pointed out, that Byzantines are underrated in a game like this. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oops. Yeah, we're just loading up now. We're about to be in. I am excited. Hopefully, we see another. You know, honestly, so aggressive towards each other. Maybe we'll see that again. You never know. I love. I love all the different generations. Oh, it's it's it. This is this is why this tournament exists to make something that uh, just gets done in a day. You can show up or you don't, and mm -hmm. we're gonna do something different every week. Just makes it fun. It makes for, makes it fun for the players, the uh, the streamers, the viewers, and there's a there's a there's a prize on the line every week. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. I I think it's a great idea. You know, we just have you can block off your morning or your afternoon or whatever day and just catch some uh, it's a good old fashioned. No amateur tournaments. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, you wake up and order some, order some pancakes. Order some pancakes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm definitely, it'll definitely be lunchtime after this. I don't know what's oh, for, for lunch, sure. but it's happened after this, man. I'm hungry. Oh, probably, I was just thinking the same thing. Probably been at my computer since like nine Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, about the so, same. <laughs> getting ready for a full meal here. So we'll see, they're actually taking a little bit of time to decide who they want, what sims they want to use in game two. We shall see. Love that. Love, love that. You know, you know, we saw nobody suggest no uh, um, the Byzantines earlier because of their faster fire ships. Maybe that's a good idea if you're versing the Malay. <clears throat> um, to Malay, I know a lot of Malay's end game bonuses as far as harbor, force levy. I like that's both their unique text. Uh, the Krampus only costs half pop. I don't know if they have any. Uh, they have the fishing ships. Uh, the fish traps have infinite food. I don't know if they have any military-wise bonuses that would help them on water early game. I'm not sure about that one. They, the, the, the Byzantines have the 20% faster fire ships. Or, uh, sorry, I was saying get... the Malay. Oh, the Malay. Right, right, right. right. No, it's it. just a harbor. It's just a harbor. Okay. The, like the Byzantines have the unique unit, though. They do have, which would be good against the uh, cheap Force Levy uh, two-headed swordsman. Um, it would be useful there if they wanted. Um, that, I, I don't know. I think it would be an interesting matchup. Okay. Looks like we've got about a minute to go here. Game has started, and then we'll get in. I hope we have, I hope we have another generation like that one, as opposed to uh, the back again? maps. I said I'm hoping uh, maybe for a different style generation, kind of like uh, not... Not uh, this exactly the same, but we've seen bat signal maps. We've seen uh, whatever the heck you want to call the last one. Let's see if yeah, there's a third. Let's see if there's a third style possible. Yeah, this is. Yeah, I, I love this. We'll see what see what this brings for us. Oh, and here let's we are see. coming in now. Oh, oh, that's different. <laughs> I don't have a nickname for the ship. We'll figure it out. But anyway, hi everybody. This is a uh, weekend smackdown of August twelfth. You're met by the caster me, Willis35, and the co-caster with us today is Trey W95. Uh, this week's settings were migration is the map. Anybody rated 0 to 2.3k on Voobly was welcome to sign up. This is game two of the final. It'll be a best of three. Currently, Jacquard is up 1 to 0, and it'll be Jacquard versus D'Artagnan. I'll take a look at uh, Jacquard's map now, and I'll pass it off to Trey95 to tell us a little bit about what he sees for D'Artagnan. Uh, Jakar, we're seeing we're seeing the generation wise um, of this map. There's still there's still an island in the middle, but it's a little bit skinny on the parts that are separating them. So they might find that out once they get their first fishing ships out. But as far as Jakar's base goes, most of his wood lines are rangeable by war galleys. Uh, Goldstone's fine, deer are fine. Uh, there's no bug sheep this time. That's a plus for him. Yeah. And absolutely. other than that, I'm gonna pass it on to Trey to tell us uh, what he sees over on Dartagnan's side of the map. First things I see right off the bat is his gold and stone are close enough to the shoreline right here on the edge of his island that if uh, his opponent goes war galleys by chance, 
um, that could be a problem for him. If he can, if he can't, you know, lock off control of this corner island, it could push him off stone and gold. Um, another thing I noticed here, we have Malay. So we did get the Malay choice. Um, he's going to oh, be nice. able to defend with those harbors eventually. Really happy to see that. Um, and maybe force Levy eventually, like we were saying. Um, both do have um, fishing off the top of their base. But again, they're going to probably have be aggressive across the top, across this top right side. Um, so this is going to be interesting to see where they can fish. Um, the Mongols, an interesting choice. How I do you feel that. about that from Jakard? I think Jakard has, uh, yet again, no intention of taking taking water control. I think yeah, he's, he's playing. I could even see him thinking uh, he's going to go for like a scout build and land. It's possible. Yeah, absolutely. I think you're right. Um, they get the cheaper, the cheaper stable units, right? That's uh, was it thirty percent cheaper stable units. It's going to be a big bonus um, in in early production there, especially maybe an early castle age. I'd love to see an early castle age land. Um, the Mangadai obviously oh, are so a powerful. powerful unit. Such a powerhouse Warfare. still. After after many years of uh, tweaks and uh, many balance mm -hmm. patches, they still they still just hit so hard. They're still just such a useful unit in so many the ways. The siege bonus too, of course. If it goes into the late games and he has to defend against Trebs, that's going to be a huge advantage. Um, even, the, you know, having a cavalry archer unit like that against uh, Malay, who do favor a bit of uh, infantry at times, that could be that could be a big bonus for him. Could be a good get. I don't necessarily think it's a civ win in either situation. No, not at all. Not at all. This could definitely go many ways. Uh, we could see... Could see Malay taking out, taking on water better, and just holding water control. But that's what we saw last map. Their Tagner was able to hold the entire uh, entire water control for so much of the map, but he still didn't come out with the win. I'm gonna start talking on uh, looking at the center island. So yeah, we've got this skinny, tri skinny, uh, skinny strip between the two uh, the two players here. But look at that. There's a little bit, it's a little bit. Uh, the gold and stone is uh, really favoring Dracard. It's on. If he's first one to land, he's gonna find both those first. They're much closer yeah, absolutely. to him than they are to Basing off of last map, I think it's pretty easy to say that he probably will be the first one to land. <clears throat> you know, and again, you do that. We do have that small strip of land. And so, if there was a castle, there's a hill there. So, if there was a castle, it could range both sides, like you're saying that there. That'd be nice. On um, yeah. the other game, um, uh, and a castle even on the corner here of of this island of the main island um, would be would just lock down you know towards the right up towards the top right corner would really lock down that whole channel towards the right uh yet again uh we see this from ricard he's got he's got no fishing ships his first thing out is that this freaking big <laughs> um, <laughs> that, that, there's a distraction so ricard has got a dock he's not making any fishing ships this game he is immediately transporting to the, to oh, the center gracious. island. So alert from drunken gamer for life. Alert, my wife has notified me that she's making bacon pancakes for breakfast. I'm digging oh, it. Wait, where, my in world, God. where in the world are you that it's breakfast time? <laughs> probably in there. Probably, uh, probably US. <laughs> it would be, um, wait, what it saying? would be what? It would be 11 in Pacific time. Yes. Wait, Jacquard? He's not... Do you see this? He's going around the north side of that... Is he island. landing right? No. Yeah, he's Stop. gonna land him. Stop. No way. He's got yeah. He's got no intention of landing the center island. He's landing. He's landing. Oh, Dartagnan. do not. Is he's he gonna scout the? Oh, I love this. I don't. And Dr and Dartagnan's not gonna see him in time. No, because he's he's scouting a different way now. This he's pushing is too much. Hawaii. Wait, depending on how he's paying attention. Oh, it's his. Okay, that was my only guess. But he's gonna come back for this last deer, and he's and Dracard's gonna get seen. Who is it? Yep. Yeah, yeah, he will. That scout's gonna. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Sees the house. It starts. But oh, come on. Okay. So the house stays in his view. He's gotta know. Yes. Dude, there you go, Jacquard. Take the fight. Take the fight before he's out. Yeah. So this scout, Jacquard's gonna come out big time on this scout. Work. I gotta imagine Jacquard's dropping a yeah, tower. Yeah, tower. Yeah, hundred percent. And they're, so they're just gonna try and be a counter tower. No, he can't. Yeah, he's dark age. He's gonna yeah, have to try and batter it down. He's, yeah, that's his own. That's his only option. If he was off of this stone, it'd be GG. Oh, oh, no! Uh, the, oh. the quick balls. Yeah, he's gonna be locked out. <laughs> They're tagging and throwing up some jokes in the chat. <laughs> um, I don't think Dartagnan should have pulled back. I think he has to keep trying. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I guess. Maybe he, no, maybe he needs to treat this like a, like a Arabia funeral, just let it happen. You know, he needs to try and go well, how does he archers. Eventually... Well, one of the things with uh, getting tower rushed, you, you place you place your own tower somewhere to just stop it from coming any closer. Yeah. Which is what he, sh which is, oh, he still can't do it. He hasn't clicked up. He still hasn't even clicked up. Wow. So these towers are going to continue to come in and come in. Yeah, and, I think. Uh, yeah, this is. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> Wow. Jakar just continued to drop one. He's going to keep getting closer and closer here. So, D'Artagnan's off of gold and stone. Now, let's see, though. There's something gamer, you could so do. Right, that is just the, that is this such next a good one, too. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Oh. But and here's now what, what D'Artagnan should do. D'Artagnan needs to not panic, and he just needs to transport. Just transport away, and this problem's done. Doesn't wow. matter. Wonderful. You're absolutely right. He needs to just take a book, take a, a page out of uh, Drake's book, and just take the middle and act like nothing's happening. Just, uh, everything is fine. Quilliam, their Rubly rank is uh, Dracard is about 2.2k, and Tartagnan is some is about 1800. Yeah, yeah, I think that's about right. I think Dartagnan is about 1800. Dracard's about 22. It's a bit of a skill gap, but it's uh, if you saw the last game, it was it was a heck of a game. It, it was, was close. A close game, yeah. So, so yeah. uh, Dartagnan definitely has an end to pull this off. No, yeah. no, no. He definitely has it in there. Yeah, it's yeah. Everything's fine. Yeah. fine. Yes. <laughs> so what's the, what's the, what's the thing? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Dark. Uh, Dracard's been prepared for this. He's got. He's still got wood. He's got stone. I'm pretty sure his eco at home. Yeah, no oh, fish. Wow. Oh, he has he's one fishing ship. Up. He has one farm. It's all towers. The plan here. Check this out. Yeah, he's just straight up too. going for it. And he has to. He's really got no right. He needs to this. run to that last tower now, so the other, so he can't get, so he can't get quick walled out. Maybe. He's, at least two of these are gonna go down. Dartagnan has won two out of the four last. He's gonna get all three. Three? Really? Dartagnan has won three. Oh my gosh. Really? I, I don't he's gonna go get that. the last one too. I think he's gonna go run to the last. Yeah, he's gonna be able to get in and knock it down. Good gracious. Our tag, our tag is gonna be down so many vills. And oh, so here we go. Yeah, Dare Tag has won two of the four last weekend SmackDown. Three of the four. two out of three, not two, not two out. Of, oh, oh, two, two out of three. Yeah, okay, that is three last. So he's he's definitely a, a oh, force yeah. to reckon with. He knows how to play in these uh, goofy settings, but. I mean, his, it's effectively his entire eco's idle because his his military is villagers. <laughs> so he's just trying Let's to take this Let's check him out back at home. What's he doing back at home? I would okay. think Dracard is transitioning at this point. He's not thinking full tower eco because the tower towers are now done, but they've done the damage. Dracard is so now sending fire ships to harass his fish. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, poor Dark Tiger. He can't do anything. He's not on gold yet. No, he's not on gold. He doesn't have. He can't make galleys to really. Maybe a couple, but he can't really. Wait, why did he stop there. chasing that villager? He let a villager get away. That villager's gonna need another tower up. D'Artagnan, what are you doing? No, oh, he's calling the GG. Uh, oh, and that is oh, the end yeah. of it. Wow. Wow. GGs. I mean, that's just. That's extremely effective. Oh, did that work like that? <clears throat> wow, this Dracard just was like, I'm not having any of your nonsense. I'm yeah, ending, wow, that was I'm just ending a migration just, map in feudal. He just wanted to show in and spread his stuff. Just absolutely. 16 minute game. Thanks for the tournament racer. Next time, go arena from Dracard. We shall see. <laughs> Dracard. We will. We will eventually see arena and Arabia and maps people know well. But for the time that. being, for the, for the time being, we are going uh, lesser known maps first. That's nice. That was good to see. I was happy. Uh, I mean, that's that's one different close out there. I don't think, I don't really think we're ever going to see something like that again. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the the I did not see that. I did not see that coming uh, at all. Not even for a second. Yeah, it was really cool to see. Um, yeah, Dracard, now that you're in chat, 
Nice uh, tower rush on Migration, man. Oh my goodness, That's man. Crazy. We were not... Yeah, it, it was... Was that the close? It, yeah, that was the closer. Uh, yeah, that was, that was wins. The Oh, I guess I should... Uh, I'll update the score to reflect that. Show two out of three. Dracard, man, you, the the one TC aggression against you fought on your home island on that first. That was awesome. Just a great, just, he had no idea that you were expanding on the mid island and that really was just a wonderful game boy. Yeah, it was. Really made for a good cast. I mean, it was really interesting because Dare Titan had no clue. Wait, I won some of the <laughs> strap, but first game I couldn't do two star and last game I messed up. A bit uh, too yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Making pancakes are not done yet. Well, Dracon, we're glad we're glad we could see it. We watched while eating all that. We did it really well. You land and go trash plus four docks five is pretty strong. All right, dude. I didn't know there was a migration meta like that. Yeah, there, there, yeah. Thanks for the migration meta. We would have. Well, Trey, we started this day talking about there's probably like four or five different things you can do. Four or and, five uh, what? Four four or five different choices as far as uh, what what you can do on migration. Mm -hmm. And uh, now do we know? There's one more that we know. Yeah, absolutely. That's that is one where it either go it, whether it sends or it doesn't send. Either it really works or it doesn't. Yeah. Vision of his goal. Did you scout? Was luck. Oh, oh of course that was luck. No. Yeah, nobody could see that from uh from the water. You couldn't ah. know. It was just. I mean, we knew it was coming in, and we could see where he was gonna land. But yeah, dang, I was saying early on. It was I was so thinking, perfect. I was thinking war galleys might be the problem, but it ended up being towers where the first go. Yeah, so that is, well, that is that. Well, we're definitely happy to have your card slash your cunt, whatever you want to be called at the moment here in the chat. Mm -hmm. The enemy off goal is so good because then you can simply win the water war even with three. Yeah, I know. That's what we were saying. That's, I know you didn't, you couldn't hear us, but uh, once you put that tower up, I was pointing mm -hmm. out that. Uh, D'Artagnan couldn't defend because he couldn't put counter towers up and he had and like we were talking about that there was one fire ship harassing the harassing the uh, fishing ships and there was nothing to do about it because it wasn't on gold yeah there's absolutely exactly that's, that's what we were thinking it was just such a shutdown spot yeah I mean even if he tried to go for a market and sell resources it have as much as if he was properly mining right no, no hate to uh, D'Artagnan here, but I think uh, Jakar just showed us our first SmackDown and Weekend SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> A true Weekend SmackDown. Yeah. All right, peeps. Well, I'm going to take an eye on uh, who's on here. Normally, we like to host, but uh, we might be coming up. I'm, I'm going to take a peek at uh, who, who's currently uh, streaming AoE now. If anybody's got some uh, suggestions for maybe some... Uh, Lesser-known people who uh, enjoy the community, you're welcome to throw them up in chat. But at the moment, I think we're coming up a little empty. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. <coughs> oh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll throw a host I'm over to John up. Slow. Oh, okay. Great. All right, so Trey, go ahead and say uh, say your goodbye, and then I'll close out the stream. <laughs> Well, thanks to everyone for joining. You know, really some great games. Love seeing these kind of settings on the weekends. I love coming to these tournaments. Um, really just great gameplay. Um, Willis, thanks for inviting me. Thanks for just a great cast. Um, no, really enjoyed the time together. Um, if you want, you know, I'm, I'm Trey W95. Uh, give me a look if you see me online. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next stream. Hi everybody, so that was Trey95, I was glad to include him for the second time here on Voobly Official. Uh, I am Willis35, you can catch me here probably a couple times a week, but definitely this Sunday. I uh, love doing Weekend Smackdown and it will continue and I see no end in sight. So you can expect me here every Sunday for the rest of the foreseeable future and I will always be joined by a co-caster, whether it's Trey or somebody else on the Voobly Official team. Uh, this week's map was Migration. Take a look on AoE Zone. You will see next week's map and settings announced somewhere in the near future. Uh, Pete, thanks. Thanks to you. Kurlu, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, thanks, guys. Yeah, appreciate that. Pre yeah, appreciate anybody here, anybody uh, in the chat. And we will see you next time. Peace. Peace.
All right, dude.